Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain again. It's a raining man. Hallelujah, it's a raining man. Mention you on pop ups. Because I'm gonna mention you. I'm gonna mention something about you that you might want to know. That you might want confirmation on. I'm just saying. I got some books down there attached so y'all can link that. Some favorite tarot cards under the description box so y'all can order those. The ones you like the most. The ones y'all like the most. Greetings, everybody. K-A-U, Kim Marsh University. Greetings, I'm finna ping the payments. Y'all wanna come in and pay? Then let me know when you pay. L-W-O, listen. Listen to the song here in my heart. A melody I start And I will complete Listen huh, To the song Here in my soul There's something, something, something To find relief Okay just off of dream girls. I don't know. I was saying my listen, watch, observe. So it just came to my mind. It just came to my mind. What else? What else? What else? Where everybody found? Shout out. City. Or state. Shout out the city or state. How's your day? Going uh all right, let me off of that and let me hop my let me hop my little hop along Nancy over him. All right, I'm just saying. Y'all get out the hall playing, please, because y'all distracting me. I don't know what y'all call y'all still doing. I just know you're making up too much noise down that hall. My head is about to pop. Crackle, snap, or pop. Okay. Greetings, everybody. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Vermont. Oh, Mona! Mona Lisa! Mona Lisa gonna be in Vermont for three days. Oh, in three days. Mona's gonna be in Vermont in three days greeting yep you're on the list already uh uh slay you number one kanisha number two and megan i think i missed megan yesterday megan is number three okay slate number one y'all get out the hall and i'm not gonna tell you again Go. All right. Yes, yes. I'm not talking over them today. Yes, yes, and yes. What? What and what, coconut? <laughs> what and what, coconut? What do we, I need to open up with some affirmations. Okay, let's go. Where's my, oh, here it is right here. Frisco, Texas, woo! All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who we gonna do today? We gonna do the mantras? We gonna do morning affirmations? What we gonna do just for today? Just for today. 
Why? Get in the room and cry. Well, why do I hear you in the hall? <sighs> Just for today.
courage. Can you give me a bottle of water, please? Dang, I went out today and forgot my lighters. I need to. See where we going today. I don't think I'm gonna get on IG. They was glitching. They was glitching, y'all. Glitching, tripping. All right, let's see.
like, what is you watching, uh, Kari? What is you watching? You pick me up and a sunflower and a sunflower and a sunflower. You pick me up and a sunflower. He love that song. And a faith and you stuck fire. I go, Kari. And a sunflower. Green it. What? What? Truth, Ruth in the bill dead already. What? Libra. Eight of Pentacles. Taurus Capital Virgo. Somebody about to get some good karma for their work. Somebody's hard work is paying off. Virgo Libra. Somebody's working diligently, paying attention to detail, working on their craft. Somebody's mastering their skill set, their mindset. Discipline, order, order, order. Ruler, ruler, ruler. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Ferris Bueller. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, so this is about work on the self. Hard work, efforts, paying off. Y'all getting karma for something y'all been working on. It could be a relationship. It could be job. It could be your skill set. It could be your mindset. It could be court. Yep, court about to pay big time. Taurus Capcom Virgo, court case uh, coming up that your house sells. Yep, again, somebody could have somebody watching or somebody's waiting about taking some type of action. Somebody's thinking about something. Somebody could be spying, talking behind y'all back. All right, somebody could be withholding. Somebody's about to make a decision to move on and they, they're withholding that they've moved on. Y'all got, ooh, the chariot, Libra. All right, y'all could be a Libra. What is this? Yep, King of Pentacles. You guys, this business is about to take off. Something that you guys were working on, you were being diligent in, you guys earned some type of respect with that uh, uh, Libra card. You guys, spirit is saying, yes, you guys can move forward now. Things are going to pick up business-wise. If it's your business, if it's your career, if it's your man, if it's your woman. You guys have invested in something you guys invested in is taking off. Yep, Gemini Prayers, you guys are reaching out. So somebody may be reaching out to talk to y'all. Comment the day on Somebody want to marry y'all, but I don't know why. I don't know what they see in y'all. I have no earthly idea why they want to marry y'all. Why they want higher level love commitment. You guys have stepped up and you guys are following your soul's calling. Y'all are following the divine. You guys are getting some inspiration, some ideals. You guys are taking notes. You guys are perfect, per per perfecting, perfecting something. Somebody could talk with a lips or, or or stutter. D -d 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 Somebody could have a throat chakra blockage. All right, Hierophant. Somebody's thinking about proposing. Somebody's thinking about offering y'all a high level position. Yep. Again, some of you guys could be getting elevated. Wow. You said got to get divorced first. <laughs> Mona said, I got to get a divorce before you propose. That's right. Before he proposed, you got to get your divorce. That's right. Look at that emperor. You got to take your power back. You got to step up to the plate. Somebody getting a proposal. Somebody's getting an offer. Somebody's getting promoted here. All right. Again, emperor. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's definitely business is picking off. You guys are in the forefront. You guys are leading the pack here. All right. Queen of Sword. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's making some uh, move here. Somebody in the eight of sword, Gemini of Aquarius, somebody, it was stuck like Chuck. I mean, Fred and Frida, go to bed, okay? Go to bed. What if, whoa, somebody made a sharp decision, a sharp right, a sharp left. Baby, somebody been watching y'all, could be y'all ex, could be somebody that is in prison, overthinking. We could be dealing with a Virgo, right? So Gemini of Aquarius, Earth sign, air sign. Y'all got the truth and the sign y'all need to go forward here to elevate. You guys made a decision, a conscious decision at that. Yeah, somebody made that decision here. Cut off season. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Y'all already know. Look at y'all. My nose itching. What? Victory and success. You guys made the right decision. If you're wondering about cutting somebody off, you made the right decision. 
If you made a decision about your business moving forward, you made the right decision. You guys definitely were in a third party situation. You guys could have been in a five of pentacle and a three of sword energy with a karmic, all right, a karmic soul tie to some value or money property. All right, yep, there it is. Gemini Evil Prayers. You guys got victory and success. You guys persevered. You guys held out to the end, to the end, end, to the end, end. When you ain't even know what was up and what was down, tower moment, nine of sword. Yeah, look at there. Now y'all recovered beautifully. All right, with that ten of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Is that my Empress? Empress Venus, baby, y'all recovered. Things about to swiftly turn in y'all favor. All right, again, nine of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the three of sword here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there it is. You guys been working on your emotional balance and stability. You guys could be working on your heart chakra, Pisces. You guys got Virgo and Pisces up here. So you guys been definitely disciplining yourself, uh, working on gaining some sense of control over y'all emotions. Spirit is giving y'all clarity and transparency on how to proceed forward and, and giving y'all the signs of a victory and success of energy well done. That's right, Azola, Empress Energy. You guys accomplished the inevitable. You guys accomplished something that was extremely difficult. All right, you guys were blindfolded. You guys, you guys could have felt like you couldn't see clearly that you were in this fog, right? Smoke and mirror, right? Jim Ali Lucrezzi, you guys' intuition was getting tested. You guys were going through a spiritual initiation. Some of you guys were elevating to the next, all right, emperor, emperor, empress energy here. You guys' business is going to the next level. You got, oh, I, oh, oh, that was some, okay, okay. The spirit, oh, just it tickling me. All right, I'm ticklish. All right, so you guys have proven yourself, you guys, Going to the next level, you guys have proven yourself. You guys have been promoted initially, spiritually and physically. So you guys, this business, you have held your own. You guys have did some diligent work. You guys have persevered on the battlefield, blindfolded and all, not knowing where is up and up is where and down is over there and over yonder. You guys definitely have been doing some type of work, all right? You guys went through the fire, through the heartache and the pain of growing. Gemini Libra Prayers. You guys stay balanced. You guys stay committed. You guys were in a third-party karma situation, staying balanced, staying hopeful. You guys were divinely guided and protected by Archangel Michael. Y'all listen. Look at their spirit said what spirit said. Through all that confrontation, through all that fighting and betrayal, through all those legal things, you guys stayed hopeful. You guys were overcome. Shit. Y'all showed it overcome. You got that damn judgment right there. You guys opened up. You guys made a decision called judgment, walked away. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, followed y'all heart's desire. Baby, y'all stood y'all ground. Y'all stood up for y'all self. What we got here, then here comes your night. Here comes your offer, proposal, commitment. What else, Spirit? Yep, you guys are no more wavering. You guys are, somebody's coming towards y'all, right? Y'all can be in separation. Queen of Swords, you might even courage. Y'all got a bird's eye view now, making that decision to move forward. Yep, again, get out of y'all own way. All right, again, yep, here comes a soulmate. You guys are worried for nothing. You guys are worried for nothing. Shauna, number three. Shauna, number three. Okay. Shauna, number number four. I'm sorry. Shauna, number four. If y'all want to pay for pop-up, there it is right there. Cash App, capital K, capital A with the green boxes only. PayPal, Venmo, no sale. It ain't working. All right. And then just go to the link in the bio or go to live and pay on Super Chat. All right, 11, 11, 22, 22, 33, 33, 44, 44, 44. All right, Take a look. links to the bio, private readings on my website, kimarks.org at the bottom down here, kimarks.org. So again, cash out with the green boxes, capital K, capital A only, no extra letters, symbols, or numbers. PayPal, Venmo, bail, Zelle not available. That's still my number, 469-219-9622 if you want to text me. All right. And now, and you need help navigating through the website, kimars.org. Make sure y'all get my book, You're Not It, Sis. Get your t-shirt, listen, watch, and observe. L-W-O from K-A-U, Kim Ars University. Get your listen, watch, observe t-shirts or your L-W-O t-shirts off of my website. I got hoodies, I got v-necks, I got mini shirts, and I got the long sleeve with the round collar up here. Hey, hey, stop. 
That's I'm gonna run y'all in the room. All right, let's go. Curry, stop. All right, hang man, let's go. What we got, Spirit? We're gonna clarify these right quick. See what's going on. You guys got the upper hand. You guys been given the ace of swords. You guys got some transparency. You guys can see now. You guys have freed yourself. You got victory over victory and success over somebody being deceptive around y'all. A seven of swords, you might even curse. Somebody tried to keep y'all stuck. All right. Somebody tried to make y'all think y'all was stuck and not moving forward. You guys kept control. Like I said, with that, with that uh Sagittarius right here, divine Sagittarius. Y'all strength and patience was tested, and you got you guys persevered. You didn't give up and give in on yourself, most importantly, right? Never give in and give up on yourself. All right, we got a knight of swords, somebody that could have ghosted y'all or dipped on y'all, left y'all waiting, left y'all in y'all feelings on what was going on, could be coming back. Y'all karmic, right? Because they see y'all making moves. Whoop, yep, they're the queen of swords right there, dropping out. <laughs> Ace of Wands, yep, again, this could be a family member. This could be y'all thinking about y'all family or now making decisions about y'all family. This is a lot of y'all, you got control over your uh, your emotions, so mind over emotions. Y'all making decisions from a logical way, from y'all intellect, from y'all intuition. All right, so a lot of y'all, somebody that was being deceptive could be a queen of sword here, a Libra here, Gemini Libra Aquarius. So this could be the person that was being deceptive behind y'all back. Gemini Libra Aquarius being shady behind y'all back. Plotting and scheming behind y'all back. Trying to cause y'all to be stuck behind y'all back. All right? All right. This person could be competing. We already saw the five of wands. So y'all can have a family member competing. Or you guys can have somebody in the workplace competing. All right? Somebody that's a supervisor could be competing. Somebody in the workplace could be competing. All right? Charles Captain Virgo, somebody that has a business could be competing, all right? So, again, let me put that over there. Let's clarify, Spirit. Thank you. We got the Four of Cups. What you waiting on? What you contemplating on? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Chariot, Queen of Wands. Woo, y'all took some fire, and, and y'all lit a bridge on fire. Y'all moved forward. Y'all didn't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Get it, get it, don't stop. All right, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys went straight ahead forward with what y'all want. You guys took control. You guys could be a billionaire. You guys could be a female emperor, you know, a CEO, a boss. All right, again, you got the King of Pentacles. Somebody now want to apologize to y'all. Could be y'all boss, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody now is ready to come towards y'all for being immature. I, oh, I just heard second guessing. Oh, somebody was second guessing y'all. Y'all abilities to lead, y'all abilities to stay in control, to stay into power, right? To use y'all power the right way. A lot of y'all us get, uh, okay, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. Because I think a lot of y'all don't understand when you have a gift or something that's to be used for global, international, you're going to be tested, right? You're going to be coming, you're going to be tested. The stronger the mission, the stronger the test must be, right? So you're going to get those people strollers and all this stuff and you're gonna get certain tests from uh, uh uh the devil temptation and you gotta remain balanced you gotta remain committed right you gotta re remain balanced you gotta keep your head down focus on your work don't get drawn away all right don't get enticed away right and a lot of that is a physical initiation for the physical body to achieve but a lot of that is mental for your mental to achieve right which is why y'all got the, the, the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. Because y'all have proven y'allself diligent. You got, you knows how to, y'all know how to control. You know how to maneuver. You know, I, I even see the Magician. So I see the Magician card. So again, you guys know how to control yourself when things, when challenges come. Which was the Five of, the five of Wands we saw, right? A while ago when I opened, looked down in the deck. So again, you guys, Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody making a decision. Look at there. Divine Sagittarius, you guys stay, you guys stay balanced. You guys didn't forget to stay in control, right? All right, again, you guys didn't act in impulse. You guys didn't act in haste, right? Like a ghoster would, like a knight of sword would, right? Gemini Libra Aquarius, so you guys are divinely guided and protected. Archangel Michael, you guys are protected by the divine. You guys could be in a, a, a mentorship, partnership of spirituality, or again, earth father and, and spiritual father is out. So somebody definitely does want to marry y'all. Somebody could have been testing y'all. 
All right, you guys, like I said, with the Queen of Wands and Chariot, you guys went after what you want. You didn't pay it no mind. Emperor, didn't I say I saw the magician? <laughs> you guys have, you guys have learned control. You guys have learned the control of a magician. You guys have known how to master thyself now, to control thyself. You guys know that you are co-creating with the universe right now. You guys got the upper hand. You guys been given the sword. You guys been given that intuition, that intellect, right? That discernment. You guys were spiritually initiated. Somebody's ready to move forward with y'all now. Things about to move forward. Things about to fall into place. Out of that confusion, you guys definitely going to be moving forward. Somebody's trying to manifest marriage, a higher level of commitment. Spirit and divine is stepping in. You guys definitely have achieved some type of victory here. You guys were tested. You guys, some of you guys were tested. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Again, Emperor, the world card. Everything is nothing and nothing is everything, right? That's what we talked today on the lesson, right? Love being what? The least expensive, but the what? The most priceless. Now y'all see what I was talking about. Love being the most, the least expensive, but the most priceless in the world. There it is. So if y'all wasn't there for the morning message, make sure y'all go to my video and look at the morning message. It was powerful. You guys, I broke down and decoded a couple of the Bible verses. Study thyself and show thyself be proved. Da, 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 da. And that thing they used to say back in 96, this is my Bible. I have what it say I can have. I do. I, da, 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 da. I broke all that down. I'm not going to get into it right now. Go back and see this morning's message. And I took out the board so you guys can take notes. So again, this is y'all receiving everything that y'all earned and worked for, you guys have leveled up, you guys have graduated. So this is you completing a cycle. This is y'all healing a certain part of you guys with the divine, you come in one with the divine. You guys have taken back y'all power. Yeah, y'all work paying off. Your work paying off. Your work paying off. It doesn't matter if y'all don't want a relationship or not. If you don't want a relationship or not, just put it in the place of working on yourself or working on your business or working on your career, right? Or your relationship in general with overall people, like networking. It don't have to be love. Y'all can maneuver this to whatever house you wanna work it on. It can be love, money, or career, or business, or CEO, or boss, or whatever, entrepreneurship. It can be anything. It's not saying it's actually love. Sometimes your work here is to do love on yourself, is to do self-love. Sometimes. Everybody is not going to get married again. Sometimes people ain't going to get married at all because their whole assignment is they self. They, they're they to fall back in love with themselves. Like me. Say for, say for instance, like me, right? I've been married over 20 years. I'm, I'm single, right? I've been married over 20 years one time. I can choose to get married again or I don't have to get married again. My second half will be for me if that's what I choose. And, if, and sometimes that may be what the assignment is. The thing is, y'all got to be okay with what your assignment is. And when you go against your assignment, then you make life harder than it's supposed to be. Maybe this next half, I'm supposed to show myself I appreciate myself, love myself, elevate myself, take care of myself, stand up for myself. And if that's my assignment, guess what? It is what it is. And guess what? I'm okay with it. Because I know that I've worked on myself enough to build myself up and provide for myself that I don't necessarily need a man to provide for me because I'm doing it on my own. So sometimes, yeah, that's your assignment. But sometimes that could be y'all running from your assignment too. In the fact that you say you don't want a man or you don't want a relationship. And that's all because you don't trust yourself. But that's all because you haven't healed. So anywhere you see, when you see Sagittarius and when you see Divine Masculine, you see the world card, that's a healing card. Those are healing cards. So that's all about retaining balance, right? That's all about retaining balance in your world. Knowing right from wrong, doing things in moderation. Some of y'all may not ever get married. Even though y'all might say that now, it's going to come a point when you get older, you're going to want companionship, but you're going to forget you said, I don't want to get married. That's why I tell y'all, stop saying that. That's only what you feel right now. Things change. Time changes. People. Right? Our feelings change. Our truth changes. Right? From moment to moment. Our truth can even change. So we're never rigid on the truth, but we're always progressing forward with the truth. Right? We're never going backwards with the truth. So we're always elevating and loving, like I said this morning, on that 
uh, evolve being love either way, right? So you go either way. Least expensive to the most priceless. So again, love thyself, but put it in the house y'all want. If y'all don't want a man right now, that's totally fine. If you don't want to date right now, totally fine. But be working on yourself because now you are your assignment. You are your assignment. So that means you got to feed yourself. That means you got to take care of yourself. That means you got you to gotta innovate something. You got to create something. You got to boss up now. Because the older we get, things cost and time changes. The prices change. So you can't say what today is going to be the price five years into the future. You can't say that. So either or, your assignment is yourself. Period. That's why we in the world card. Because the assignment is us. Our assignment is us. We'd be so lucky to happily get a companionship. We would be so happy to get married once or twice or three times. Or even again after the, the first time. Yeah, no shame. I've been married four times. See there? Twice to a karmic. See? I've learned much and evolved so much. See what I'm saying? So thank you, Mona, for that. Because there's nothing wrong with that. As long as she learns and long as she grows and long as she know her lesson now so that she don't project on another person when she feel like she want to get out there and do it again. If she want to do it in again, do it again. But at least, look, whether she married or not, that's better. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I'd rather her get married four times than y'all spend 20 years with a man, one one man that don't fucking marry you and still leave your ass with no responsibilities and no obligations. So at least Mona married four fucking times. Y'all will let a motherfucker day after day, year after year, stay with y'all with no fucking legal obligations for him staying and then be sad as a damn goose egg. And when they leave y'all, but you didn't say you need to marry me, but you did everything like a wife. You gave him wife benefits so he didn't have to marry you. So at least she can admit what she did. And there was no wrong in what she did. It actually was right. You going to take me off the market? Then you got to, you got to marry me. Else I'm going to be seeing somebody else. How can, you, how can you call somebody your woman or your man and you don't have no responsibility to them? And they can just walk in and out your life whenever the fuck they want to. Now, if that's what floats y'all boat, good. Have at it. But now, 15 years down the road, don't say that when that man and that woman leave your ass then. And you done sat there, I could have been married. Nah, yeah, huh? You could have, should have, would have, could have. But you didn't. You didn't. Because you gave them everything. You didn't give them no reason to marry you. Because y'all give them everything up front. And there's nothing else to work for. So when they bored and tired of you, they go to somebody else. That's fresh and so clean, clean. That's fresh and so new, new. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Call the Keller Black, boo. You in the room. Spade is a spade. Okay. And so y'all be the one looking stupid. Because now your homies and everybody, the homegirls looking at you like, you was with him 20 years. Yeah, and he left me. What? Just got his shit and got the hell out. Well, she got her shit and got the hell out. With no ramifications. Without losing nothing. Without doing nothing. I'm hoping y'all had a good relationship while you was there, but most likely you probably didn't. <laughs> you just settled. Both of y'all just settled. Or either that, you knew you were karmic to begin with. So you knew, both of y'all knew you wasn't a person to marry in the first fucking place. You see what I'm saying? No strings attached, right? Y'all were just friends with benefits. Friends with roommates. So all y'all is just friends with roommates with people you haven't even really married. You're just friends with roommates. You're just friends with benefits. You're just roommates. That's all. You're roommates. Because if that was your helpmate or that was your equally yoke, you would marry Right? Mona know now to find out a little bit more, which is good. She know now I got to take my time. I got to make sure I'm together first. I got to make sure it's okay within me or in my creator for my creator to me to marry anybody else. She knows now that, okay, I can't just go out there and just say the first person that want to marry me, marry you. And that's true too. Not without them proving. How are they going to take care of you? 
what they want to be when they grow up. What kind of relationship they got with their creator. Get my ebook, You're Not It, Sis, on my website, a dating advice book. You're Not It, Sis. Right? Wow, you are amazing. Thank you, sweetie. Back at your love, love, love. So, again, it's a lot, but y'all got to stop rushing and y'all got to take y'all time. And in this modern instant world of instant gratification, nobody wants to take their time to get to know nobody, which is like I said this morning. If y'all go hear that, that, that lecture this morning, the intuitive message this morning, that itself will give y'all some dating, some dating cues in that as well. And also into your sight, into yourself, into your own assignment of yourself, of mastering thyself and learning thyself and knowing thyself. Ada swore heart of the matter, walking away, 88. Y'all can be seeing 88. Some of you guys are about to leave. Some of you guys are about to head on out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. You guys got a Pisces and you guys got a Gemini here. So you guys could be definitely about to end some situation, give up some situation, walk away from some situation. The Ace of Swords clarified with the Nine of Cups. Don't we got the Nine of Cups? The oak, the underall cards. Nine of Cups, two Nine of Cups, and two Ten of Cups. So we got the we got the the uh, underall card. The overall card is the Eight of Pentacles. The underall card is the Nine of Cups. Y'all got clarity. Y'all learned y'all lesson. This is you getting that sign. This is you learning the lessons. This is you walking away. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, following y'all intuition, learning y'all lessons. And look here. You guys are being grateful for the sign that y'all got from the, from the most high. The clarity that y'all got. The transparency that y'all got into setting up what? Emotionally, emotional boundaries. Keeping your distance. Keeping your distance and your separation from people that don't respect it. All right? For people that don't appreciate it. Right? For people that don't uh, honor it, right? Your presence in their life, right? Victory and success, six of one. Ooh, now y'all about to get that cup. Now y'all about to get that cup. Look at it, about to make that 10th cup. And right next to it is the 10th cup. 10 of cups. Y'all got victory and success. Y'all have achieved the ultimate self-love, right? Abundance, a gift from spirit. Victory and success because you guys have achieved emotional balance during y'all test. Doing a heart test, right? A mental test, agility test, a vitality test, a, 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 a broken heart test where your heart was tested to see if it was going to soften or was it going to stay hard and calloused. Emotional intelligence. It's a thing. It's a, it's a thing, you know. Your emotions fuel your manifestations, right? And, and I, we said that earlier too on that on that lecture on that intuitive message so again you guys got victory and success when it comes to y'all family your overall happiness your overall abundance here pisces cancer scorpio you guys are about to get a love offer i feel like somebody's gonna get a proposal here somebody wants an engagement all right again nine of cups hangman you guys have released any emotional blockages now you guys are receptive. Now you guys are receiving. And did we not talk about being in receptive mo mode this morning? We talked about it this morning. And y'all see how the lesson for y'all that was a collective that was on this morning. Y'all see how it came in? The lesson from this morning came right on in today with the collective. Y'all in receiving mode. Y'all looking at things from a different perspective now. Because now y'all heart is open and ready to receive. And now y'all crown is open and ready to receive. Right? You're not here in vain, so don't take it as in vain. That's right, full circle. 180, full circle, completion. 360, right? So again, now don't take that in vain. Do something with that, right? Gemini Libra Queer. Did I, did I put that right? Yeah. Gemini Libra Queer, somebody being sneaky. Did I put that in the wrong thing? I think I did. Oops, my bad. Hangman, Gemini of the Aquarius, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups was down here with the Queen of Cups. I mean, I put it in the wrong position, but I feel like take it how it resonates because Spirit did it for a reason. So again, Seven of Swords, Gemini of the Aquarius, y'all victim, whoever got caught, y'all villain, Gemini of the Aquarius, they hung themselves, right? They got stuck in the past, right? Somebody is stuck going, living a double life possibly. And then the Queen of Swords fell right there. All right? So again... The Ten of Cups, 
Yep, courage, Leo. Wow. So now y'all getting the courage and the confidence y'all need. Y'all got y'all Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Y'all emotionally balanced here. And bam, then you got the Queen of Swords, Jim Ali Aquarius. Y'all stand. Oh, Lord, you would dip that. That was a narcissist. Definitely a karmic test. Didn't I say Capricorn? It was a test. I said it was a test. So y'all were definitely being tested, just like I said, from the divine. Y'all had a test. Y'all definitely had a test, a spiritual test, and a, a spiritual test and a physical test. Y'all had a y'all y'all were dealing with a manipulator. Y'all were dealing with a karmic, Queen of Sword, Capricorn, Gemini of Aquarius. Yep. Yep. And y'all had to learn. So y'all had to learn some type of control. Y'all had to learn to, to work with the creator, not against the creator. Work with your creation, not against your creation. Right? And you guys passed that test. Woo, child. Y'all, y'all were dealing with a third party karmic here too. Because y'all got the Queen of Sword, Queen of Queen of Sword, Queen of Wands, and this could have been a mother figure, a family member, or somebody y'all work with. Like I said, put it where it works. Put it where it works. If it's not a man, if it's not a, a woman, just put it whatever house you want to put it in. Your love house, your money house, all right? Just your mental house, put it in. Whatever house you want to put that damn in. Your passion, your purpose, put it in. Whatever house you want to put that bitch in, all right? So let's go to the board before I go to the card readings. Anybody else? Anybody else? Getting on the end tonight. Because we already figured out. We knew we had everything. Oh, Lord. Let me throw that damn thing away. Okay. We already knew this morning from the from there we had everything we everything we needed in the earth, right? Uh earth and fire. We already knew we had it, what? Our mouth, right? Our breath. Right? Our mouth. We can speak. Right? We can breathe. That's our air. Our water is our feelings. This is the magician. Ashley, what y'all looking at is the magician. Feelings is our water. The earth is our body. Right? Our grounding, our earth, it's our what? It's still our heart because the water is our heart and the earth is our heart. And the fire is our passion, our purpose. And the reason why a lot of people, a reason why a lot of people are mad and angry this time, at this time, the reason why a lot of people are, uh oh, let me tilt my little screens a little bit so y'all can see. The reason why a lot of people are mad and angry. Spirit gave us everything we all needed in our bodies, in the earth, that we all need. We don't have to ask no man for nothing. We got everything we need, the basic necessities to be a living body, right? To be a living human being. We got air, we got water, our feelings, our heart. We got our earth, which is our heart, as well as our body, right? And then we got our fire, which is our passion and our purpose. So a lot of people that be mad and angry with other people is because they wasted time when they could have been on their purpose and their passion. And you never let your spouse supersede your passion and your purpose because that is what you come here for. So you never put anybody above your passion and your purpose because that's what creates you with the creator. That, that is God. God put you in that. That's like putting people above God when you do that. What was your calling? Why did you come here? Right? Even like your lesson. Your lesson is your earth, right? Earth is a school. So your body is your school. And as y'all can see, class, okay, you just go along with the, the message this morning. The body is the school. The lesson you come to leave, you come to learn here, right? We so happy to have a mate when we get one. We should be, all right? But if it wasn't, if it wasn't in the right way or we're not on the same path, it becomes a karmic relationship. One of control, right? Manipulation and control instead of discipline and structure and order, right? That's a big, that's a big damn difference. That's a big difference, all right? So everybody got everything we need. We got air, we got water, we got earth, we got fire. But where people get mad and this becomes anger because Aries is anger or passion. That's Mars, right? This is 
This is Taurus. This is Earth. This is money. This is value. How valuable is your body to you? How valuable is your heart to you? Right? How valuable is you, you learning your lessons to you, to being here, right? And not letting people take you for granted here, disrespect you, right? So water is, again, the feelings, the water, right? The heart, right? The emotions, right? So are you going to let people trample over your emotions and get away with it? Or are you going to stand your ground? Are you going to stand up for yourself? Are you going to stay with a person that abuses this, this, and this? Talks about your passion, your purpose, what you do for a living, right? Or that's in competition because that's competition too. And that's why it comes under Aries and Mars, right? But initiation comes under that too. And taking the first step comes under that too, right? Because you got you to gotta take the first step before God takes the other steps, right? So all this is like the reversal of that, right? We don't learn a lesson. We're going to what? Go back to earth school. We're going to what? Repeat. We're going to what? Repeat. We're going to what? Repeat. What you allow continues. What you don't learn, you repeat. So learning your lesson is primary. Elevating is primary. Taking control, taking your power back is primary, right? So school, earth school, earth lesson, the body, the flesh is our lesson. The body is our lesson. The physical is our lesson. And the physical is an earth sign, which is Taurus, because it's all about the value and self and the value in belief systems or whatever you want to call it, belief, whatever your, your value in money and self, right? And friends and families and da 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 Water, again, your feelings, your emotions, your feelings, and your water. And then air is your breath, is your mouth, is your word, is your swords, right? Now, the thing along, alongside of women, the long side of women, I'm going to see if this blue works here. So, the long side of women is this is feminine. Earth and water is feminine. Fire and air is water. Now, let me show y'all how they know women in a masculine energy. I just showed you. Because y'all run your damn mouth and y'all fucking angry. So they, a man already knows you're in masculine energy right there. Because you're supposed to be here, earth and water. Right? This is logic. Y'all don't think with logic or critical thinking because y'all too busy trying to snap at folks. You don't be subtle as water, calm as water. Bruce Lee said what? Be water, my friend. Be balanced, my friend. Be calm as water, but penetratable as water too because when it roars up, it can take an 18-wheeler out. It can take a, a skyscraper out. It can level everything on this earth. Right? And earth being grounded. Be grounded. Right? So if you're not here, you're not in your feminine energy. You're in your masculine. You're more in your masculine energy. This is what they call soft. And this is what they call hard. Right? If you want to look at it like that. Right? Being soft, feminine, being, being nurturing, being cultivating, being uh, uh, peaceful to be around. Not be his peace. He's supposed to have his peace and you're supposed to have yours. It just makes you more peaceful to be around as women. More pleasant to be around as women. When y'all not so angry and bitter and in competition and aggressive with the divine feminine or divine masculine, whichever one you need to relate it to. So y'all see, that that's a big difference. That's a big difference, y'all. That's a big difference. It's not saying don't stand up for yourself. That's why water can be calm, but that's why water can make a tidal wave. That's your defense. You can make a tidal wave and uproot stuff, but you still can be in your feminine energy and do it. 
you still can be in your feminine energy and do it. Doesn't mean you let somebody walk over you and misuse you and manipulate you and try to control you and try to unappreciate you, undervalue you, undermine you, lie about you, stalk you, then tell people, gossip about people to you and, and, and a lie at that. So that's a difference, right? But you see, we already came here with everything we need. So we don't need to ask the creator for nothing. We already got. You see? We go after our desires and our wants. You know, our dreams. Not what we need because we already got what we need. An abundant supply of it. If it's appreciated, an abundant supply of it. You know what I'm saying? That's your husband. That's your that's your husband, Mona. <laughs> so again, so again, and that's how y'all know. That's how men know us before we before they even y'all open y'all mouth sometimes, and even after y'all open your mouth sometimes, they'll know. Crystal number five. They'll know. That's how they'll know. See, school is a lesson. Your body is a lesson. Your earth is a lesson. If you're not studying yourself, then how y'all going to learn lessons? Y'all just overlooking all the lessons because y'all not studying yourself. So you worried about the next woman, worried about the next man. Instead of studying yourself, that's how you learn in earth school, by studying yourself. And we talked about that this morning. That's how you learn, by, by self-study. By so self-study. Self-taught. Self-taught lessons. Self-taught lessons. Look what I just said. Self-taught lessons. Self-taught lessons. Self-learn by studying the self. Know thyself. Study thyself to show thyself approved. That you know yourself. Go to this morning lesson. Y'all need to look at that because that's really going to open y'all eyes. If you're a Christian, it's definitely going to open your eyes. <laughs> it's definitely going to open your eyes if you're a Christian. This morning was powerful, Kanisha says. Y'all, it was it was an eye catcher. It was. Let's see what we got. Virgo moving forward. King of Pentacle. There that page of sword right next to that King of Pentacle again. So that tells me somebody is monitoring y'all. Somebody's thinking about coming towards y'all, reaching out to y'all, talking to y'all. And giving y'all some type of proposal or, or uh, uh, commitment, a higher level of commitment. Maybe a job offer. All right. So some of y'all about to get a job offer here. Look at there. There's the emperor too. So again, there's something somebody was holding back on, right? Somebody was a little guarded. Jupiter, Sagittarius. This y'all turn on the wheel here. Fortune and fate. Destiny fulfill itself. Sagittarius, sun, Leo, right? And, and, uh, and Jupiter. Y'all could be a, a Leo and Jupiter, right? All right. Wow. Balance here. Y'all could be a Libra sun. Y'all could be a Libra in Jupiter or a Libra in the sun house or vice versa. Right. So again, you got Libra sun, you got destiny and fate. You got abundance right there. So that is a, that is a court case. That is if that's not a mate, that's a court case. That's a divorce. That's a that's a lawsuit. That's a job. That's some balance being restored. That's good luck and harmony coming toward y'all. That is reciprocity. <laughs> That's double for your motherfucking trouble of this nine of wands motherfucking struggle, struggle and having to stand up for y'all self and look at there and, and, and stand up for y'all self and take y'all power back. Because for a long time, you didn't say nothing. For a long time, y'all just kept quiet. For a long time, you just watched what you said, watched what you did. All right. And didn't have the guts or again, just didn't feel like saying nothing. Just moved in silence. Minded your business. Now you got a whole business of running your damn mouth like me. I'm just saying. I got I got talks for days, okay? I got stories for days. All right. And now y'all back in what? Your childhood balance restored, right? Aha moments and what? Think leveling out that childhood truth in terms with that childhood. Y'all could got a sweetheart. Some of y'all may be getting married, a commitment. Somebody's regretting something. What we got, spirit? Scorpio, the ending of toughness, the ending of a cycle, the ending of indecision and juggling, the ending of, look at that right there, lying, cheating, 
all right, juggling multiple lovers. Some of y'all juggling multiple lovers, right? And the empress, the love of y'all life. Because somebody is ending juggling lovers and being deceitful and on the down low or on the prowl. Now somebody see y'all as the love of their life. Their soulmate. They want y'all to be their person. That was the emperor. There's the empress. There's the lover card. So that is a commitment. And let me go back to what she said earlier. I don't want a man or don't want to marry or something. Well, what she's saying is now she's going to be giving it to herself. That's self-love. She's going to step in, walk in self-love. That is still a divine union with yourself. That is still a soulmate with yourself. That's still a twin flame with yourself. Right? It's all about the self. And that self is you need to get along with your feminine or you need to get along with your masculine side or you need to get along with your feminine side. So which side in y'all is out of balance is the question y'all need to ask yourself right now. And that's the side you need to come harmony with. That's the side that's your soulmate or that's the side that's your twin flame. And that's the side that you got to bring balance back to that side. I'm just saying, make the shit make sense. So the people can know what y'all talking about. It's not you looking for another person. It's y'all looking for yourself through other people. And that's why you look to other people to fix yourself. But it's 414 angel number. But you ought to be looking for yourself to fix you. You're not supposed to be looking for another person to fix you or complete you. You're supposed to be completing your own self. By standing up and standing in your power and taking full authority, governorship, self-governing, and self-ownership and self-responsibility. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Not looking for other people to do it for us, right? Standing on our own two feet like the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress Energy, right? Attracting, not chasing. And look, I told y'all somebody was getting an offer, a proposal, and a commitment. Somebody's getting an engagement. Somebody see y'all as the everything. Somebody see y'all as their empress. And somebody's getting a, a proposal, a commitment. Yep, somebody's making a decision. Queen of Cups. Look, spirit is like, uh, hello. Yep, somebody coming to redeem themselves. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Nobody, they're not in their head no more. They were hiding for a long time in agony, resisting. They're the eight of sword that was in the heart of the matter with the eight of cups. So this is somebody that was refusing to see, which was causing a restraint, which was causing a blockage mentally. Now they're moving forward. Six of Swords through all that competition, all that betrayal, all that deception to come build, to come collaborate, to come build an empire, to come build a, a commitment with you guys, which is the Eight of Pentacles, the overall card. So again, this is y'all, and I said the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So now y'all looking lovely as ever. Now y'all looking self-sufficient. Now y'all grounded. Now y'all y'all take care of y'all self because guess what? You guys see the value in yourself now. You all see the value in yourself. And when you learn your lessons, that's your value right there. What did you learn in your body? That's your, that's your value. What did you learn about the self? Right? The physical, the 3D. What did you learn that you can give back to the world? What did you learn about your heart chakra? What did you learn? Right? What did you learn about the, the one you were supposed to add value to or you were supposed to come into this soulmate union in this body to learn that lesson, whether it's your, your masculine side or whether it's your feminine side? Which one is it? That's your mission. Come in, some of y'all mission is for a woman to come into balance with the mass, with, with her feminine side. And some of y'all lesson is for uh, some of y'all women lesson is to come into balance with the masculine side. Some of y'all men side, my head is tingling, I'm tingling all over. And some of y'all men lesson is to come into balance with other men. And then some of y'all men is to come into balance with the feminine side. Not calling you flaky or anything like that. It's just saying we all got feminine and masculine rotation inside of us. So, again, we already got it. I already proved it. Air and fire is masculine. Earth and water is feminine. So, we all got those parts. So, coming into balance with whatever part that is off balance within you. Example, Kim, I'm glad you asked for one. Say a man mistreats a woman. 
He needs to learn balance and what? How to appreciate a woman and how to value a woman. Or he going to go through life with not many women. Vice versa. A woman can be disrespectful to men. Right? Call them names, degrade them, try to manipulate and control them. And then guess what? He going to biggity bounce. Because he going to get tired of you trying to tell his ass what the fuck to do. And then he going to get sick of your mouth. And he going to leave you. So her job is to learn how to shut her fucking mouth and get along with a fucking man. The masculine side of herself. So y'all see? Or it's women on women, it's men on men. Not the flaky shit though. I ain't talking about the flaky shit. Okay? I ain't talking about fruity flakes and frosted flakes and shit. I ain't doing that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about with your brothers and with your sisters. That's what I'm talking about. The brotherhood, the sisterhood. The sister stars, the brother stars. Okay? I'm talking about that. Or you can say the brother sons, and you can say the sister moons. Okay? I don't care how you fucking say it. Okay? Sister the sister, brother the brother, but not the flaky shit. Not the over-exaggerated shit that the world has got going on. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this is an innate thing within yourself because you're going to know how to treat all of them when you know how to treat yourself. You're going to know how to get along with all of that outside of you because it's inside of you. And what's inside is outside and what's outside is inside. As above, so below. So, again, you ain't got to approve of it. You ain't got to disapprove. You can have your own opinions. Nobody cares but you about your opinion. Okay? Nobody care about my opinion but me. Right? Nobody cares. So, because everybody can have their own opinion. According to their life and their upbringing, according to their childhood and the things they had to go through and suffer in their childhood, you're entitled to have that opinion. You're entitled to have that opinion. The thing is, y'all got to understand and, and you got to understand why you got that opinion. What happened to get that opinion? How did you learn that opinion? And you can always unlearn that opinion, too. You can always unlearn what you're taught. And you can always relearn again if you got an open mind, open heart that's receptive to change, right? That's open to change. That's open to growth. That's open to evolution. See? And as long as you're open to evolution and growth, you'll be self-governing. You'll be in control because you control what comes in and what goes out, what you keep and what you put down. That's you governing yourself. That's self-control. That's you learning yourself. That's self-control. That's you correcting yourself. That's self-control. That's self-governing. So that's self-talk. That's self-talk. I don't have to be a religion to abide by the law of the land. I don't have to be a religion to abide by universal law. Because I just know there's a universal law. I just know that there's, there's a God. There's a creator up there. There's a most high up there. Right? I don't have to profess a goddamn thing. Nothingness I came into this world, nothingness I can leave from this world and still be on course and still be on my mission and still serve my purpose. I don't have to claim shit. Claiming nothing is claiming everything. Nothingness is everything. And everything is nothing. And you can get something out of nothing. Because we all came out of nothing. And we became something. So, that self-gratification, self, not self-gratification, self-control, taking your power, taking your leadership, authority, that's Aries, right? And now you got... You guys may travel. You may be seen in another light. You may be a CEO. You may be bossing up. I feel like this is a level up for some of y'all. This is a boss move for some of y'all. Your business is going to take off for some of y'all. You might be a teacher. You might be a mentor. You might be a coach. You might be a, a spiritual person, right? Yeah. See, because see, the Bible even said those that have everything have nothing, and those that have nothing have everything. That's the same thing. Same, same principle, same lesson right there. Same lesson. That because y'all may think you got everything don't mean you got something that's worth having though. All right? All right, let's go. So, Queen of Cups on the bottom. 
Spirit, what's coming toward the immediate future? What y'all watching? What was that movie we was going to watch the other day? Let's watch Jupiter Ascending. Let me glance at that while I'm on here. I said I was going to watch that last night. That's on HBO Max. We don't have HBO Max? I do have HBO Max. What, we don't, it's not on Hulu or Disney or something else? I just said HBO Max. I do have it. Oh. All right, let's go. What's coming towards y'all in the mute? mute it. Oh, look at the ending bringing beginnings, baby. Something is over. Somebody's concern is over. Somebody thinking about y'all heavily on their mind, baby. Somebody thinking about y'all. Okay, let's go off the top. Official. Master number 22. So this is something officially coming in. Official offer. Official recognition. All right. What else, Spirit? Yep, a letter. Some of you guys, it, it, 722 may get official letter, official notification in the mail. Or you might in 7 to 22 hours or 7 to 22 days, weeks, 7th month, 722 maybe. It can be somebody's birthday. It don't have to mean nothing. It can be 11-7 uh, or 11-22. So somebody's going to get some notification, something in the mail, some communication. What about it? Spirit, yep, the pathway is open. Ooh, that's going to be some good news. That's going to be some positive news. Somebody's going to get some positive news coming in. Official positive news, official sign. The pathway is clear. Y'all can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Things are getting brighter. Y'all releasing the worry. Y'all ending the worry, the concern, right? All right, again, what else, Spirit? Ooh, court, there you go, Libra. There you go. Y'all got to look at there. Y'all got to stay positive up until this court date. Y'all got to stay positive. So the turnout will be positive. Excuse me. Y'all got to stay positive. Stay positive, Mona. Stay positive because you got that positive, that light right there. That's making that decision. Stay positive. All right. So there's definitely some, some uh, again, that's Libra. That's balance. Right. That's that's the court card. 723, 722, and then you got 35 here, all right? And again, what you got here? Ooh, a mature man, and we saw a mature woman. This could be a grandma, grandpa, or older dude, somebody that has some wisdom. It could be an elder. It don't have to be. It can be a grandpa. So again, what else, spirit? Yep, then I said grandpa, and there it is right there. So this could be definitely about a grandpa. This could definitely be about an older person, an elder, all right? Somebody in the court could be a judge. Who knows? All right. What else, Spirit? Yep. They're my, whew, they're my man right there. King of Pentacle. They're my man right there. Boy, this could be about a King of Pentacle. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Look at there. Wealthy, stable, self sufficient, reliable King of Pentacle. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What else, Spirit? Ooh, somebody could be going to jail. All right, King of Pentacles, somebody could be in their head mentally. The King of Pentacles and Eight of Swords is out. So this is somebody overthinking or thinking about walking away from some, some options, choices, and suitors. I feel like this person may want to make an official appearance is what I'm having. That's what I'm seeing and saying. Somebody want to make an official appearance with y'all. Oh, somebody want to ask y'all officially for y'all. Oh, hand in marriage. Somebody's coming toward y'all to, to, to propose to some of y'all. Some of y'all about to receive official notification all right. I just heard a bar. Somebody could be passing the bar. So somebody could be getting ready to receive their bar papers that they passed the bar. All right. Yep. This is a courtship. So some of you guys are somebody's about to make an official appearance and ask for y'all hand. Start courting. Start dating or something. Start the initiation process. The honeymoon process. Right. Into marriage. Into courting. Not dating. Remember. 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 Dating and courting is not the same. Y'all got this shit confused. Look at that. Somebody crying on the blues. Y'all got this confused. Y'all are mixing courting and dating up. Dating, you can go on multiple dates, multiple people in search to find a man can do that to, to find the right one. Seek high and low to find the right one. And y'all can do, you can take many offers if you're single, but it don't mean you're going to sleep with all of them. Because now you're going to devalue yourself because you don't have to sleep with a person to know if that person's a perfect fit. Your soul knows if that person's a perfect fit. You don't have to sleep with a person to know they are a per perfect fit. Listen, watch, and observe the person. You'll know if the person is a perfect fit. 
Sleeping ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know where the fuck y'all get that shit from. But anywho. So again, courting is somebody taking their self off the dating scene to invest in one woman and one man relationship. Not many. Like you were doing dating. Not, not having many men or many women and going out with them at the same time. And maybe or maybe not sleeping. Courting to marriage, right? Court one on one to what? Marriage, the road to marriage. Because you can't get to know somebody when you're scattered with everybody. It you you gotta concentrate on one man and one woman if you want to put your all into that relationship. You can't be all across the board. That's a dating thing. That's y'all out here just dating, going on multiple dates to get fed, to get bills paid, to jump to this man, to jump to this man, to see if this man can get something, see if this woman can do something, see if this woman can sleep with you, see if this woman can sleep with you, see if this man will pay a bill, see if this man, that's dating. It's just random. It's random. But courting is one man and one woman because the outcome is marriage. That is two different things. Get my dating book off my website, kimarts.org, you're not it, sis. It's in dating advice. So again, that makes sense, Miss K. So a lot of people out here got dating mixed up. So a woman that's dating, let me see what y'all telling men. You telling men if you're out here dating, you guys are saying to men, you're not ready to marry. Oh, I got tingles in my head again. Y'all are saying y'all not ready to marry. Because y'all out here going with this guy, going with this guy, going with this guy. Too many people that don't deserve access to you got access to you. It ain't the fact that you ain't sleeping with him. He don't want nobody to have access to you. He wants to know least people got access to you. But y'all don't hear that though. Because it speak against what you're doing and nobody don't want the truth to hit him upside the head. So a man want to concentrate on one woman. If you can't concentrate on one man and getting to know one man, how the hell you going to be married and be faithful? When you can't even sit there and be concentrating on one man at a time as a woman. Y'all trying to do what a man do. A, a man does that because the Bible biblically says a man who findeth a woman. It don't say a woman who findeth a man. It says a man who findeth a woman. That is a big difference. You women is in masculine energy. You going out there looking for a man. When all you got to do is be the empress and be in the earth and the water energy. You're going to be at the place you need to be for the, in order for the man to see you and recognize you or ask you out. If not, you just ain't at the right place. And the place he speaks to you at speaks of your vibration. So if he's seeing you in a club, you a clubbing woman. If That means you open for any and everybody. If you're not in a club vicinity, that means you're not for everybody. If you're at home on a Friday, Saturday night, and you're reading books, and you won't lie like me. Well, shit, that got to tell you. I'm here every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fucking seven days a week. Just fuck it. Mm -hmm. I ain't for that shit. Right? And I love to dance. I would love somebody to play music for me. And me to shake a tail feather. Right? Where I can just be free and be around people. Right? So, again... That's y'all taking on the masculine energy and y'all not just being y'all out there doing and doing is a masculine thing. You're doing the fucking most. You're doing too the fuck much most. Okay. You just got to go out. You just got to be out, be out in the elements, be out in the earth, be doing the things of mother earth, be in your natural makeup. Whatever that is, your, your not natural makeup. I'm talking about your natural form, your natural like doing you. Doing you is what I'm talking about when I say that part. So be out there doing you, whatever you do, browse, shop, 
antique malls like I, I like to do. Maybe walk, get some exercise, maybe go to the gym. Just be in your natural, your natural skin. Be, be one with yourself. Be one with yourself is what I'm talking about, right? Be one, be one with yourself. Because a man can sense when a woman is one with they self. And let me tell you what came to me on the way home. We went to the store. And I don't know what I was doing. I was flipping. I was flipping the internet or something. They would listen to music and gave me a headache because it didn't, it didn't jive with me and it just fucked my head up. I don't know what the fuck it was. It's still hurting now, but I'm fighting through it. And, uh, and all of a sudden I said, oh shit. You know, cause I've been on 10, super 10 this morning, right? Since that, since that, the, the first lesson we had this morning, I said, oh my fucking God. I said, I get it now, spirit. So let me tell you the download I got today on the way home from the store. You women, when you go out there half naked, let me show you what covering up is about. When you go out there half naked and you dating and you half naked and you showing all your skin, you're not just showing all your skin. You're releasing pheromones. You're releasing that the pheromone when you're in heat. Let me just put it like that so y'all can get the get the term I'm saying. You're showing you're 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 showing me you're in heat because your body is rippling with that hormone. I'm ready to get down and busy. So when you have less clothes on, it's easy to seep out into the room of a club. And the first man that sniff. He finna go what? Hunt. He finna, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm finna go around and I'm finna, hey, how you doing? No, it ain't that one. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, not, you wanna dance? Uh, Cause he trying, to, he trying to figure out in that room, who is that in heat? Oh, y'all ain't ready today? Oh, so wear your coochie shorts. All right, wear your little booty, 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 booty shorts. Yeah, because you giving off when you're ready to reproduce, which should be for your man, which should be for somebody you're going to be courting to get married with, right? But you got to learn self-gratification. You can't be tempted by that, right? That arousal, right? But when you're dating, which is what y'all do and go to the club because you're trying to pick up a date to what? Pay for lunch in the middle of the week. And again, back again and pick up another date to pay for lunch in the middle of the week or pay a bill at the end of the week or one the next day for Monday because you got something to do on Monday. See? So I said, oh my God, that makes sense. I said, that makes sense why women shouldn't have their bodies out in public. That makes, that makes sense. Why you don't go out in your pajamas, right? Like I said this morning with coochie juice on and a bonnet on. That's disgusting. Take a fucking bath, wash your ass. Put some clothes on and go to fucking Walmart. That's not that fucking complicated. Don't roll out of the bed. Oh, I got to go pay this bill. I got to go pay this bill. And then you get mad when the wrong one try to pick you up. Well, shit. He can smell. Oh, oh shit. Some of you just got to finish effing. Some of you been effing last night. And then get out and go to the damn grocery store. What about your car seat? And then not clean your car? Coochie juice on your car seat. Did you ever think about your car? The car is an extension of your house. So if your car ain't clean and you ain't clean, God damn it, girl, your house ain't clean. That means you ain't clean. That means you are uncleaning woman. Cleanliness is next to who? <laughs> God. That means God represented man, right? So man gonna look for a clean woman, right? But y'all ain't showing y'all self clean at all. Oh, okay, I might have said too much. All right, I might have said too much. Let me go back to this reading. I ain't trying to preach again. <laughs> I'm not trying to preach to nobody on a Wednesday. Not on Wednesday morning and Wednesday night. 
but I'm not trying to. You know, I, let me get on here. Let me get on here. Let me get on. She said, no, keep going, sis. Let me get on here. I might step on some toes and get offended. People might be offended because the truth will set you free, but it'll piss you off at first. <laughs> it'll piss you off at first, but it'll make you correct your behavior. It'll make you correct your behavior once you sit down and digest it and chew on it a little bit. And then, you know, eliminate, digest it. You got to ingest it, right I say? You got to chew on it, ingest it, eliminate it, and then you got to spit it out, right? And my nose itching. Y'all know I'm right because my nose itching. Y'all know I'm right. So why would y'all want a man to take care of y'all when y'all out there for everybody? So in other words, if you out there with your pajamas on, if you out there in a club half naked, then that shows a man you're out there for everybody. So the only man that's going to want you is a dog that want to get with everybody. That's what I'm trying to get y'all. That's dating. That's dating. Dating with nonsense. Dating with no sense at all. But if you're going to be dating, at least put some clothes on though. Because your body shouldn't be for somebody you're not going to want to court and get married to. And you're just out there fishing. You're just out there trying to see who's going to bite and pay a bill next Monday or the Monday after. So why would you be half naked? That's enticement. That's temptation. And y'all bringing it on. You're literally bringing it on. By the way you dress on a date. By the way you dress on a date. So... Y'all leave yourself open for some of this stuff that y'all get and receive, but then y'all don't want to be open to receive the truth when somebody is trying to tell you what's good for you. You want to be offended and, and you want somebody to tell you what you want, but you don't want nobody to tell you what you need to really truly hear. You see what I'm saying? And nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect either, but I'm just saying work is in progress. Work is in progress. You got to be, be able to work on yourself and do things to better yourself in little increments that you can do something in. You know, y'all need to take all them little hoochie clothes and go put them in a thrift store somewhere. Go throw that shit away. Because ain't no man, a real man ain't going to want that woman dressing provocative out there. I'm sorry. Because I just showed you why. Because you will be in heat and everybody else out there will know that that, that man's woman is in heat. So you protecting the energy. I got goosebumps. You're protecting his energy. You're protecting that what is sacred between you and him. The sexual energy. So he ain't going to want you hoochie fied. Out of respect. You wouldn't want him walking out there in a, in a, tuck, in a what you call them damn thongs for men and swimming? Speedo. You wouldn't want him walking out there in a speedo and another woman seeing what you got. What you have at home, so another man, a real one, ain't going to want you to see. He ain't going to want another man to see what he got at home. Not to mention, like I said, the pheromones when the temperature rising. When the temperature rising. And that's why a lot of women get hit on out in public. Don't mean you got to bite it, whether you married or not. Are you married? Are you happily married? Because he can sense, he can sense either some discord between you and your person. He might can tell by a frown on your face, your ass ain't happy. Because if a man got you happy at home, your ass gonna be smiling in public like you've been in a candy shop. You're gonna be grinning from ear to ear. He's gonna be like, oh shit, I can't do nothing with her. Her ass happy go lucky. <laughs> she must be satisfied. But if you walk around with resting bitch face, you either gonna rest up on the dog. Or you're going to propel and reject men all together. But a dog don't care if you're mad or not. He going to hit it wherever he can get it. Hit it and quit it. See? Y'all don't realize what y'all do subliminally either. Those actions that y'all do. Trying to be like other women. Being provocative. Being open with their bodies. Flaunting their bodies all over the internet. Y'all don't get don't don't follow what everybody do. That's what this what people doing for money, for clout, for attention because they don't have any, because they're not getting enough. But that don't mean y'all gotta do it. Yeah, because you see the world go right, bitch, go left. When I see the world go left, bitch, I'm going right. I go in the opposite direction. I've always done that. 
I don't go where the majority go. Never have. Never have. Never wanted to go where the majority go. Never wanted to go where the majority go. Because I'm a trailblazer. I ain't supposed to go where the majority go. I'm a leader. I ain't supposed to go where the majority go. I'm supposed to direct where I'm supposed to be going and mind my damn business. <laughs> Do. That's all I'm supposed to do. That because they put two shoes on the left foot don't mean y'all put the third one on the left foot. Come on. Come on. It don't mean y'all do it. Whether it's one, two, or three left shoes, it don't mean you do it. You got a whole nother leg over here. Try that one. The road to what? Least travel. It's always good to try the road of least travel, the road that nobody wants to travel. Y'all see it? It's good. Less travel by, the road that's less traveled by, she said, because I must say it wrong, but I think y'all knew what I was saying. Thank you, Kiana. Try the road that's less traveled by. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, take the road less traveled. Take the road less traveled. Be, be a leader for a change, but be a leader in leading people the right way and not in the wrong way. And in honesty, which is meaning real with yourself. You got to be real with yourself to be a leader. You can't be a leader if you're not being real with your own self. Right? Your pops. My pops be putting on shoes, same one, but different colors. Be he be weird. Girl, I used to do that a long time ago when I would get dressed in the closet and I would have the two color shoes. One would be blue and one would be black. One time I went, I did that like a couple of times. One time I did that, I looked down, I was already at my uh this one I was in real estate. So I looked down, I said, shit, I got two different color shoes on, but it's the same shoe. I was like, damn. And then one time, it was so funny, I was in a patient house at this one. And I got dressed in the closet. The bathroom light was on, but the closet the door was open. And I got dressed, and I grabbed the boot, and I grabbed the boot thinking it was the same boot. Girl, I got to my patient house, went to stoop down to do get out of my bag, the vital thing out of my bag. Looked down at my foot. I had one square and one round. Girl, I could have fell out. I, I went through the whole day damn near with one, two different boots on. <laughs> The shape and everything never paid it no fucking mind. Never paid it no mind. I looked down. I told my patient, we bust out laughing. I said, can you believe I got two different boots on and I'm just now seeing it? <laughs> so I know what your daddy made, girl. <laughs> it's just one of them days. <laughs> Monica. Just one of them days. <laughs> like for real. Okay, for real. Okay. All right. So enough of that, y'all. I ain't trying to preach to the choir, nothing like that. But again, if y'all had missed this morning's on uh love is the least expensive and the most prices, please watch that. Please watch that. Y'all gonna be so you gonna it's gonna open your eyes to really self love and self care, and love is free and it should be given away as free if you care, right? But you gotta look at the video to understand what I'm talking about. I'm not saying give your bodies away for free. I'm not saying give your bodies all the way around the block either. Okay, so go look at that video this morning uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, or I was on IG and Facebook too. But go look at it so y'all can see what we were talking about this morning. Because it, it fell out again, sort of, in this collective right here. So we got Slay number one, Kanisha number two, Megan number three, Shauna number four, Crystal number five. Look, I got burping. See, that was the truth. That was a sign from above. So again, be open, y'all. Let your heart be open and let your mind be open so y'all can receive, you know, so y'all can receive. Look at them blessings and them abundance that's coming. See what I'm saying? Blossoming abundance, the ten of pentacles right there. 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? That wish fulfillment, that abundance that y'all want, that happily ever after that y'all want. You, know, you said aside from God, right? A sign from God, that bird, that hiccup. Look at there, divine Sagittarius, patience. Temperance is a Virgo. Temperance is patience. Y'all got to be patient with this dating stuff or courting stuff. Or when a man want to court you, you got to be you got to be patient. Y'all can't rush him. Give him whatever. Yeah, why you, look, I'm going to tell your mama. All right, again, patience. So temperance is coming out. This card want to come out, Queen of Pentacles. So again... To build something stable for yourself, take patience. To build yourself up takes patience. That's when you went from a nine of pentacles to a ten of pentacles, and now y'all got the queen of pentacles. I, I dubbed this Oprahology 101, and the king of pentacles is Stedman 101, because that's the, this is the billionaire club. This is the millionaire billionaire card. This is the business person. This is the person that's financially stable and grounded and practical and disciplined. Right with their money, they know the value of themselves, they know the value of money, they know what to do with money, invest it. So, this is y'all ready to open up and spread y'all wings. Y'all ready now to fly right, all right, because y'all learn some sense of self value here, all right, with that temperance. Because to build yourself in the right woman or to build your brand, it takes time. I didn't build Kim Arts overnight, there's no way I built Kim Arts overnight. And y'all didn't even know me when I was in the building. Most of y'all in KU now. Y'all didn't even know me when I was building. Facebook know me when I was building. They saw me when I was building. But y'all didn't. A lot of y'all didn't see me when I was building. So it takes time. See the eight of swords. Boy, if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna tell your mama. Give him that thing, Casey, and stop making him cry. Don't you throw it. Don't you throw it at him. Now go in the room with that or something. All right. Again, Gemini Libra Aquarius is the eight of swords. So again, you guys have freed yourself some, from some financial poverty, financial difficult by journaling, by opening your mindset, by learning yourself, by writing affirmations, right? We do affirmations over here. We do shadow work over here. So when we get the wealth and abundance, we can keep the wealth and abundance in the land, right? Meaning in your body, meaning the work that you've done in your body, you can keep the work. You can keep the efforts. You can keep whatever you gain, the knowledge you gain, and it can feed you for the rest of your life, right? So whatever wealth you build should feed you for the rest of your life, should take care of you for the rest of your life. This is somebody financially stable, somebody self-sufficient, self-secure. Not saying she don't need a man. It's saying she know how to provide for herself. She's built herself up. She's built the woman that she wants to be. She's built herself up to the woman that she wants to be. She knows her self-worth. She knows her value. She knows herself. Right? All right. I'm just saying. Somebody's ready to open up. And again, journal. Somebody may get some communication, some positive communication. All right? Some healing, soothing communication. All right? We got 316, 321. I'm getting a download here. And we got the sun, number one card. So that was true. That's Leo. So somebody's got some a fire sign. Could be a, a Leo, could be a Sag, could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So, th and this could be the magician card. Remember, that's the air sign, right? And that's like the cups right there, 10 of cups. Some positive news, some positive efforts are paying off, just like the reading, right? So again, you guys got some clarity. You guys got a spiritual awakening. You guys, evolution. You, you, you evolved, right? You grew. You're talking about Leo, father figure, right? Bam. What? said the truth rule baby what i just said was the truth and look at that three of cups pisces cancer scorpio and i saw that balance flash at me when i just moved that card right around there so look at there y'all got balance y'all got restoration y'all got reconciliation pisces cancer scorpio y'all got a major win here all right emotion balance fe feminine and masculine balance which all i've been talking about this whole time all right you guys got the truth coming towards y'all you guys got some abundance coming towards y'all. 22, master number 22 right there. That 10 of pentacles, I think was something. I think I forgot what that was, if it was something. Balance here. You guys got balance being restored across the board in your relationships, in your emotions, in your finance house. 
right? In your passion, your purpose. You guys are ready to open up, spread your wings. You guys are divinely guided and protected. Archangel Michael, right? The angels are guiding y'all. Y'all listening. Y'all being attentive here. You guys are taking action, right? You guys are, are receiving and, and, and you guys uploading and downloading. And you guys got transparency here with that Libra. So again, justice here, balance, feminine, masculine energy, yin and yang, whatever you want to call it, black and white, right? What we got here, yep, you guys freed yourself, your ego, you guys uncovered a mask here. So you guys definitely receive some type of balance and harmony. You guys are going on your, uh, all right, Tammy, number six. You guys are recovering something. You guys have that seven of sword that was there, that hidden person. You guys have uncovered the false, the ego, right? You guys have uncovered the ego. Tammy number six. So again, there's some of you guys have released something. Just like you said, you guys have released something you guys were hiding from or failure to see the truth. Failure to see the truth. You guys have released it. You guys have released hiding from the truth, hiding from the self. That's the world card we saw, right? Bringing back, you guys are now bringing balance back to y'all world. You guys have now seen the black and the white. The above and below, the within and without. So you guys now have seen both sides of the coin. You guys see both sides of the coin. You guys are seeing, oh, I got goosebumps. Woo! Okay. You guys are seeing from both sides of the coin, meaning your left and your right brain, your feminine and masculine energy. So you guys are not just stuck on the feminine side or too much on the masculine side, you guys are seeing both ways now. You know when to be feminine, you know when to take action. You know when to be feminine and soft, you know when to be, you know, critical thinking, logical, rational. You know when you're irrational, you know when you're delusional now. You know when it's not what it is, all right? So again, that's the balance of being in the masculine energy is you knowing when you're being too fucking delusional or not, all right? Too complicated or not, or overthinking it or not, right? With the eight of swords, right? Or when you're covering up and you're lying, right? Okay, I'm just saying. When y'all ain't being truthful with yourself, I'm just saying. 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 Look at there. Look, connection. Soulmate twin flame. Now when you got balance, because balance is key between masculine and feminine, now y'all are ready for a soulmate if that's what y'all choose. Or you may be your assignment for the rest of this life. You stay in balance within yourself. You stay in balance within your masculine and feminine energy inside yourself. Or you guys are about to get a soulmate. You guys may be about to get a soulmate. All right. I'm just saying. Twin flames. A caring connection is on the way. Somebody going to get a proposal. I told y'all. Look at there. Somebody about to get their happy family. Four of wands. 11, 11. Somebody's balance is restored. Harmony is restored. Peace is restored. You guys got self-control. You got a couple here that loves each other. They may have two kids. It may be a blended family right here, a boy and a girl. So you guys been seeing rainbows. That's a sign. All right. You guys got a sign here that, that y'all soulmate is coming in. You guys are definitely having a soulmate. You guys are in line with your passion. You guys got stability at home in your family life. Yep. From a third party, from something that broke you and caused you a lot of pain in the past. It could be a job, it could be a man, it could be money issues, it could be generational curses, it could be abuse, it could be abandonment, it could be the lack of whatever the heck it is, okay, that caused y'all this pain, this three of sword pain, all right? What y'all got, God? Is a, oh, Lord, yes, indeed. Look at here. I always say that's the earth angel right there. Taurus, Venus, the earth angel. You guys got, look at there, a lot of love. You guys started giving it to yourself, paying attention to your feelings. Look at the three of cups. What did I say right there? I said, woman is earth and water, and now y'all got what? Earth and water. Did I not say that? Earth and water, feminine energy. You guys now are paying attention to your what? Your water is your feelings and your emotions. And staying calm and staying balanced. Angel of love. Did I not say that? Taurus Venus, money, right? Your value of yourself. Your self-worth and your self-value and your self paying attention to your, your feelings and your emotions and governing those, those emotions and being in control of those emotions and not getting irate with these men. And not yelling at these men, these men like, ooh, 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 ooh. right? But y'all staying in the feminine energy, soft, cultivating, nurturing, watering what they give y'all, the seeds that they give y'all. Bringing the kingdom come and the queendom come. Working in peace, love, and harmony. Soulmate. Soulmate. Helpmate. Wife. 
courting to get married, right? A caring connection coming together, two of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then y'all got what? The three of cups, which means a reconciliation is coming for some of you guys. Taurus, Venus, Earth, Angel, right? Your moon, paying attention to your feelings. And we got a full moon in Taurus coming this Saturday at 1028. Taurus, Empress Venus, Gaia, right here. Right? Mother Earth, three of cups, what? Heart chakra. Did I not teach y'all on heart chakra this morning? Love is what? The least expensive and yet the most priceless. The most priceless. It's free to give love away and it's costly when you do and you're not reciprocated and you're not appreciated and you're not validated or you don't have that self-love to validate yourself. So again, makes love expensive, makes love priceless. That's a high value, high value man and high value woman. When you have complete self-control, when you got self-love for yourself and you respect yourself and carry yourself with that respect. Because then people are going to know how to treat you. People are going to respect you, right? Again, reciprocation, third party right there. So somebody definitely getting a uh, reconciliation. All right. Yep. You guys could be leaving, walking away, making a decision. All right. To walk away to something. Y'all got a hater right there. Bam. Look there. Somebody got some anxiety. All right. Somebody is in anxiety. The nine of swords here. Y'all got, look at there. Somebody having lots of anxiety of, of where y'all going, wondering where y'all going. Y'all, y'all gave up. So again, you guys could be, look at that. Archangel Michael protecting y'all. Look at that three of cups sticking up. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So that's the root chakra here. So again, you guys took action. Again, action is a man thing. It's a doing thing. Women have to know when to take action on stuff. Men have to know when to just sit with their emotions for a minute and not be hyper responsive too. So, and not be hostile, right? But to control their temper as well. So they need a little feminine energy for that balance, right? Listen, watch, and observe. LWO. Listen, watch, and observe. Listen, watch, and observe. So you guys got some protection here by Archangel Michael. Yep, again, Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Captain Virgo. Y'all got, ooh, Metatron, Archangel Metatron there. So you guys got some commitment. You got, oh, Lord. Y'all got a commitment coming, and y'all got a lump sum of money coming. Y'all got some type of offer, proposal, commitment because y'all took action, because y'all worked on y'all self. And you see the black and white? The contrast. There's contrast in everything, right? So again, you got the manifestation, victory, and success. And there's terminology one-on-one. So there's y'all Boaz. There's y'all I'm somebody's wife. I'm somebody's husband. There's Archangel Chumel. And there's y'all Harvest for all the work y'all done. And there's Lover Boy because y'all got control over y'all emotions and control over y'all money. And y'all see things and y'all got a victory in sight. And you guys are clairvoyant. And you guys are magical. And you guys are creative. Look at y'all. Just look at y'all. Just look at y'all. Ready to go out there in the wonder of the world, baby, and explore. All right, Mother Nature. All right, travel. You guys could have been in Virgo mode. <laughs> you guys could have been introverted for a time. Now he's ready for y'all to get out there and take some type of action toward building something with this couple here. That king and queen of pinnacle, which is a pair, which is a couple, which is a power couple, which is a billionaire, which is a company. All right? You and your person should be talking about company. What, what kind of company can we start? What kind of business can we start? Right? How are we gonna give how are we gonna leave a legacy if we ain't doing nothing productive? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who we got here? Yep, somebody definitely is seeing y'all as somebody they want to give their heart to because y'all innocent, y'all pure, and this could be an older, this could be an age gap. Somebody is just taken and smitten by y'all purity here, by y'all innocence here, by y'all, not that you ignorant or naive, is y'all. You got, some, you got something precious. You guys are behind the gate, so you guys are protected. You can see that. But you guys may be afraid to wander out there, too. So it might be time for some of y'all to come out of that Virgo uh, hiding. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. There's Virgo. There's Leo right here. Six of Wands. You guys got victory and success with something you guys, you know, wondering about. Ooh, look at here. Pillar of the Ages. You guys have healed y'all self. You guys are self-healers. You guys are healer of the ages. Cornucopia, that's abundance. That's a harvest. That's all y'all hard work paying off with that victory and success. And there's the third eye right there, Metatron, right? 
So again, you got, and there's Uriel, the crown, and there's the sacral chakra, which tells me y'all ready to reproduce because there's love right there. And who is that? Somebody thought y'all were going to be stuck. Somebody was trying to make y'all stuck and block y'all in y'all crown and y'all sacral chakra. All right. And y'all third eye, possibly. Somebody that was jealous, that mad person. All right. Yep. Y'all got rest and recovery. If y'all off a little bit, somebody pissed off. Somebody's angry. All right. Because y'all took action. Y'all got love. Y'all ready to open y'all heart to love. Master number 33. And there's master number 11. All right. So you guys are ready to. Uh, and when I came on, I saw 11.33 or whenever I did. Archangel Gabriel, your throat chakra, and Chumel, your solar plexus. So you guys are got some abundance in, in speech, motivation, inspiring, uplifting. You guys could sing. You guys could entertain. You guys got that creator ability. You guys are manifesting some abundance into your life. Spirit is definitely about to shine on somebody with this cornucopia here. Yo, you guys been putting in the work. You guys been blessing the foundation or other people. And now y'all getting y'all rewards for all the work y'all put in. Speaking. It don't have to be speaking. It could be influencer. It could be something y'all doing creative though. All right. Again, yep. Y'all got, yeah, of course, lovers that love to hate you. You know, love to hate you. Want to love you, but don't know how. All right, again, and there's Leo, and there's Leo, victory and success, and there's that nine of pentacle pre-empress energy. Living your best life. All right, again, somebody's just because y'all living a good life or because y'all have y'all independence. All right, somebody's mad because y'all stand on your own two feet. There it is, the magician card. You guys have manifested. You guys are showing appreciation. You guys are magical. Somebody could be trying to confuse y'all, restrain y'all, block y'all manipulate y'all, but y'all stay balanced. There's that Sagittarius again. There's that celebration again. There's that heart chakra again. There's that Ten of Cups again. There's y'all making that journey, making y'all way downtown. Da, da, da. And somebody mad there, right? Because that storm didn't touch y'all because the orbs blocked it. Because this is y'all karmic that's hating on y'all. Somebody wanted to see destruction from y'all or for y'all in y'all journey. Somebody tried to stop y'all spiritual journey. All right, somebody wanted to see y'all in pain. Somebody's jealous because spirit is, is chosen y'all and y'all chose y'all spiritual path here. Yep, and y'all divinely guarded on that path. Uriel, Ariel, y'all divinely protected. Yep, they thought they could keep y'all stuck, but oh no, says the devil. And voila, there y'all are ready to give y'all heart and soul to the planet, to the earth. There y'all Boaz right there, and bam, there the two right there. G Gabrielle and uh, Throat Chakra. And six chakra Metatron. So again, there it is. Okay, so yeah. Boy, that was powerful. All right, let's start. I got my deck here. Slade number one, Kanisha number two, Megan number three, Shauna number four, Crystal number five, Tammy number six. Anybody else? Anybody else? 113, so that's not too bad. That ten of wands, y'all need to put that burden down. Uh, y'all may be caring too much or doing too much. All right, again, slay one thirteen eleven slay. Go close that door. Close that door right there. Virgo, I just got to be saying somebody need to come out of Virgo. Somebody need to come out of hiding. All right, Virgo, Ten of Wands, y'all ending of secret could be coming out. There you go, stepping up into that Empress energy I was just talking about. Cream, daylight cream, you manifesting, you attracting. All right, again, King of Wands, making a decision. You may have a choice about taking action towards something or somebody could be coming towards you. You know, you could be getting some good news, some happy communication. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, yep. There's something you've been waiting to hear from a long time. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, yep. King of Swords, who is that? Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could be you working on something, Taurus, building something. All right, you've been giving something a lot of time. It's been taking up a lot of motion. All right, again, with that seven. Yep, you've been in your head overthinking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, building something, waiting on something, maybe getting impatient uh, with it here. With the world card, things are about to be completed. I feel like you're about to release that and give that waiting up, give that being out of your mind too much. And again, too much overthinking. You got a soulmate coming in. Two of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be in line with your person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody's holding back communication. There could have been some negative exchange or negative self-talk here. You're blocking it. All right. Any negativity, anybody stabbing you in the back. All right. Again, you definitely are standing up against any negative thoughts that you have concerning 
the soulmate card, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So your past could be playing a part of this. Your, your mindset can be playing a part of this. Negative self-talk could be a part of this. Two of Cups, you got a soulmate, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius card right there. And there's a proposal, commitment, or an engagement that you have coming in. An opportunity you've been waiting for for a long time, but you could have been resisting it. All right, Queen of Swords, you might leave Aquarius. So again, there's the leap of faith. There's the uh, seven, was that six of Pentacles? There's that seven of Swords right there. So again, with that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody could have definitely needed to take action and didn't, or you got somebody coming towards you, a, a Knight of Wands, a Ghoster. All right, again, a challenge here. The King of Swords, Gemini, you, know, you need to take mental note. All right, again, something you could be blocking out. Throw chakra, heart chakra. You're not open to receive here. You're not going to get. You're going to continue to stay in a five of pinnacle energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Release anything you're holding on to from the past because it does not serve you moving forward in the future here. All right, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, there's somebody want to come towards you with an offer, proposal, commitment. There's that Knight of Pentacle, that long-awaited turtle horse. Took forever to get there. There's the moon. There's the confrontation. There's the betrayal. So there is definitely some secret competition because, of course, you're in the Empress energy. You're going to have competition. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be somebody to see you as a mother figure, nurturing, com and uh, compassionate. But there is a, you could be in separation. Or uh, I feel like... When I say separation, y'all, this could be emotional. This could be mental. There's a disconnect. So this could be you mentally separating or you mentally having some type of epiphany here. All right. Some type of change of heart here. So, again, it definitely is the uh, tower moment, some realization that you have about yourself or about this offer, proposal, commitment or engagement or about even turning things around or working things out. All right. Because I feel like you're at long distance or you're distance between somebody or you can't get on the same accord. All right, so this is all about getting on the court with your person. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Mother Figure, Father Figure, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a power couple. Some couple that really love each other at once upon a time, but now they're at a distance, at odds with each other. All right, so they're bringing some type of balance back or some type of epiphany or working something out, all right, that has separated you two. All right, so again, you need to stand up for yourself or you need to not go after something. You need to let something go. It could be mental, it could be spiritual, it could be earthly, whatever it could be. So, uh, again, to bring y'all back in balance and harmony, again, closer together. So, you definitely not talking or making a decision like you need to, because uh, there's a blockage there. But go towards your dreams and wishes, of course, what makes you happy, all right, with that Aquarius card. So, it could be Aquarius and Pisces, Jupiter, Sagittarius is favoring you right now. There's something new coming your way, Virgo here. So, again, be open to receive it when it comes because it's good luck. So, this is like Aquarius, Jupiter, or Jupiter in Aquarius house, 11th house. Sagittarius in 11th house. Or this is Aquarius. This is uh, ninth. This is Sagittarius in Aquarius house or Aquarius in Jupiter house. Or Neptune house. So, again, take it out of resonate. So, this is a good turning. This is a good shift. This is your own, the right path. All right of your true words could be Aquarius rising. You could be Aquarius arising or your person could be Aquarius arising Jupiter maybe. Don't have to be or arising Taurus. Don't have to be. Wish fulfillment is all it means is you're on the right path. Reconciliation. You're going to get some reconciliation. You're going to be moving forward. All right. In a positive direction. Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is that? The Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. This could be work. It could be working things out in the future or staying hopeful about the future. Hard work. Hard work. Always pay off. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Thank you, Sway. Tanisha. Curry. Curry. What is you doing? 118.53. This is a boy going through the house singing, y'all. All right. And, oh. Who is that? Tweet bird number. What did I say? Seven. All right, Tweet Bird number seven. All right. All right, Kanisha, let's go. Let's see what's going on. Spirit. Jupiter Sagittarius, payback daddy in the payback business. You're making some action, some waves here, some ripples, a shift coming with your thinking. Jupiter Aquarius, yep. Something, hey! Something you've been contemplating on doing. All right, again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Queen of Swords, reconciliation or a celebration, an invite. 
So again, making a decision, yep, there could be something you're going to be asked to do or asked to attend, an invitation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, judgment, making some type of judgment about something you've been thinking long and hard about. Yep, taking yourself, freeing yourself up, taking a leap of faith here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, moving in another direction here. So again, Nine of Cups, there's the Empress right there. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Empress Energy, King of Wands, taking action. And again, being responsible. I ask your mama to heat that up. I'm, I'm doing these cards. She right up. Go ask her to heat that up. You should have ate it when I had, when I had it heated up. But mommy's not coming out of the bathroom. Boy, go. Where's she at? In the bathroom? Oh, the devil card. Hold on, y'all. This little boy, this little Virgo here. Good Lord, have mercy. You, you going to sit here and eat all of it, too, because I'm not heating it up again. I'm not. Seven of Wands right here staying back. So again, there's something you definitely need to release your guard or your resistance around. So there's a new cycle. There's There could be someone coming towards you, a fire sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're not selling. You're the Empress Energy right here, standing your ground. It could do with work, business, or career. Capricorn, and again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this could be work, business, or career. All right, again, high priestess, stepping up in that high priestess. Yep, so there's definitely something that you definitely need to uh, follow your intuition on. All right, again, so there could be something you're holding back, making some type of decision on, uh, all right, uh, in the event, or maybe speaking on, or maybe doing. There's some tower moment coming. There's something unexpected coming. Pisces, Cancer, oh, there we go. And there we go, Ten of Swords. So again, with the Leo and an ending, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there's something that is you're regarding uh, taking a stand on, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or being stabbed in the back, moving forward after some type of breakup or separation. There's Virgo right there. So it definitely could be a Virgo energy here of somebody spying or somebody is, is, is spying on somebody. Virgo, Leo, and uh, Gemini here. Yep. And a four of wands. It could be family member. It don't have to be family member. It definitely is somebody at work because that's Virgo right there. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, eight of pentacle. Yep. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Four of wands, 1111. It has to do with work. Yep. Releasing something. All right. Releasing something. Make sure you're not taking work at home. All right. Stay in balance here when it comes to work. All right. Balancing out the two, home and family. Thank you, Kanisha. And there's the Ace of Pinnacle on top trying to move out the way. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Megan. Megan, Megan, Megan. I missed you yesterday, Megan. I think so. I'm going to do you again today. And if not, oh well, you get a free one. All right. 124.09, Megan. Shauna, number four. Crystal, number five. Tammy, number six. And Tweety Bird, number seven. Anybody else want to be on the list? And said, your grand are absolutely adorable. Thank you. Girl, they something else. <laughs> Baby, they got a mouth on them. Girl, they got a mouth. They got it honest, I guess. But they got a mouth. Megan, 124. Thank you, Kanisha. Thank you, moderators. All right, Megan, wherever you are, Megan, I hope you get this. 
All right, you moving forward in the right direction, Pisces. So spirit is telling you to keep forward, keep moving in the right direction. You're controlling your emotions right now. You got control of yourself. You're thinking about yourself and your happiness and you're on the right path, possibly after a breakup or after some type of epiphany here you done had, all right, Aries, with an Aries deal regarding your finance, your stability here. Again, somebody from the past, you made a decision here, maybe ended some long-term relationship and moved on here. Yep, there's definitely somebody you're thinking about or somebody thinking about you in the back of their mind and they, they, yeah, my nose itching. So again, yep, there's something new coming towards you you may not even see. So this person may be coming back towards you or this is still a way you're moving forward toward after a breakup or after some type of, whoa, shit, I didn't even see the Ace of Swords until just now. Bam, Spirit said what Spirit said. The Ace of Swords, you got truth and clarity, you made the right decision. You could have been puzzled if you did make the right decision, but that was the right decision. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Clarity. You got clarity over some confusion, over some type of family thing. Yep. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Somebody must have lied. You moved on. Could have been a breakup. Could have been a separation. But you got the uh, you got the clarity that you needed. Again, wish fulfillment. You're going towards your wish fulfillment. You you taking control of your dreams here. You you might have had some type of sign in a dream too. So pay attention. You might you might need a a dream journal. Somebody could stutter. Whoever you're talking to. So again, yeah, there was somebody stuttering and lying. Again, Gemini, oh, Lord. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely somebody that was creeping. Somebody that, you know, was definitely lying to you. All right, somebody from the past may be coming back. So again, take notice here. Make sure you pay attention to the signs. It definitely could be over. You probably are releasing this person because this person lied and cheated. And that's what your dream was about. That's what your clarity was about. So you definitely got your guard up. You're definitely pro uh, protecting yourself. You definitely been through a lot with this person here. You don't trust this person, so go with what you know. There's an ace of sword, ace of wand, ace of pentacle right there. So again, yep, go with what you know. Yep, Gemini Aquarius. So this is somebody that was doing something behind your back, was trying to keep you from finding out something. That's why I got that Virgo. That's why my nose itching. That's why everything itching. All right, again, five of pentacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So there's some hefty opportunity that's coming towards you. This person could have left you. And they want to come back toward the past, maybe apologize, maybe give you something. Yep, reconcile. That's what they want. This person want to reconcile with you. So you may be getting somebody. Could be a Scorpio. Oh, yep. Damn, spirit tearing your ass up, making whatever this is. Good Lord. Damn, spirit hitting you with the truth left and fucking right. Yep. This was an altercation. Could have been a family altercation, disturbance, or breakup, or betrayal. Third party. It was something very painful here. Something unexpected. Again, and you definitely, this person want to come towards you. It could be a court, court case, all right, again, that you're going to get some type of battle or some type of, uh, make sure you stay patient and calm. And again, just stay calm in your speech. Just stay calm in your emotion. Please. Don't lose a, ga a gasket because it definitely could make you miss this opportunity to bring some type of balance or to win this court case. And it definitely could be with a king of swords, Gemini of Aquarius. So, and you're a queen of cups. So it could be with that baby mama. It could be this person cheated, lied, betrayed you. It could definitely be a family. It's somebody that had you in a third party situation. They either was married or you either was married or the distance was either the uh, separation. All right. And again, queen of pentacles. So you definitely went forward. Uh, all right. They could have been somebody else. Could have been business. All right. But there is definitely some cheating. Thank you, Megan. Shauna. Shauna. 12832. 12832, Shaman. Oh, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Empress energy tonight. We in the Taurus energy tonight. So, again, Venus, Taurus, again, appreciation, self love, self worth here. There could, you could be pregnant or somebody around you could be pregnant. Y'all, guess what happened to me? My daughter shocked the shit out of me, scared the shit out of me, y'all. I was outside with the babies and them, and we was talking before I came in, and I was just out there, you know, went to go do something, and went out there, and we just talking, and she like, move back, move back, move back, and I'm like, what, and I'm thinking it's a spider or something, you know, I ain't trying to get bit by no goddamn spider, so I moved, and she's like, it was a bee, it was a bee on your foot, I'm like, that's a good thing, girl, <laughs> that means I'm in my efforts, energy a bee landing on me, she told me, no, it was about to sting you, I was like, no, And that's what the energy of an empress does. 
bees and, and everything come and land on you, butterflies land on you, ladybugs land on you, children come to you, everybody want to be around you, the animals and the children. And that's the energy because that's Mother Earth cultivating energy, right? That's her nurturing energy. That's, that's her loving energy. So I didn't even know the bee was on me. I didn't feel it. It was on my feet. And it was like by my pants leg, but it was on my feet. And she was like, you didn't feel it? No, because I'm sitting there talking to you. I didn't even see it. <laughs> so I was like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? She said, you moved and it moved. I was like, <sighs> Leo. I'm just saying, dramatic, right? <laughs> we both dramatic. So again, I was like, I would have loved to see it. You could have just said, Ma, it's a bee on your foot. So I could have looked down and saw it. You know what I'm saying? All right, Thelma, thank you. So I could have saw it, right? But she didn't. But that means empress energy. So anytime children want to be around you, a lot of times you're attracting, you're not chasing, you're not repelling. So that means you're in that receptive energy. You're in that flow. You're where you're supposed to be. Because different things will come to you from nature, right? Because it's mother nature. So everything, things are going to come to you like a magnet, right? I'm on number four. I'm on Shana. S-E-A-N-A. -A, Shana. Timestamp 128.32. But I was just giving that example. So again, the wish fulfillment card. So that's good. You're going towards your wish fulfillment. You're thinking of your wish fulfillment. Aquarius. Yep, I'm on number four, Crystal. And a four of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. So yes, there definitely is a rising in your emotion or a rising Pisces here. In you. It could be a man. It could be a woman. It could be you going towards your dreams. It could be you needing to look closer at your wish fulfillment because you may have already got some dreams and wishes that come true as a sign. And you need to check. If you've been journaling, you need to go back and think about it and be grateful for what you got. All right. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, don't be ungrateful. But that's you not selling. Again, Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress Energy. And then you got the Libra, and then you got the Ten of Swords. So then you got the family, then you got the karmic. So there definitely was some kind of uh, karmic justice that you're getting here with somebody stabbing you in the back, with somebody doing you wrong, all right? Tar Capital Virgo, some type of business. This is a karmic here. It could be at work. It don't have to be at work. But it's some, I already see the Five of Wands. It's somebody that, uh, it's somebody that is in the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. And competition, so I'm seeing the five of wands. So again, the Libra, the timestamp is Kanisha, the timestamp is 128, semicolon 32 for Shauna. S-E-A-N-A. -A. I'm on number four. So again, uh so again, this is the the Libra, the, the Gemini. And then that's the, the uh, Capricorn, which is work, business, career, or ending of a toxic cycle, or some type of addiction, or some type of temptation. And getting some type of balance here, right? Some type of liberation, some type of uh, equality here. Nine of Pentacles, pre empress energy, Nine of Cups. So you can be seeing 99 a lot, right? Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is knowing your self-worth, your self-value, but being grateful at, 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 you know, to learn your lesson here with the Nine of Pentacles. What, where is it? I'm sorry. With the nine of pentacles, with your emotions and with your finances or with even your self-worth. So again, so knowing your self-worth and ending a karmic cycle to restore some sense of balance here in your in your world towards your rising sign. Your rising sign could be Libra or Capricorn, but it don't have to be. Yep, four of wands. Home and family, work, life, balance here. A union, somebody from your past wanting to go forward here. Again, with that Gemini, Leo, Aries, Leo, Leo uh, Sagittarius, and somebody from your past, or you ending it with somebody from your past. You've had a lot of negativity because you got two ten of swords out. So you've had a lot of negativity around you, a lot of karmic thoughts or negative thoughts you had to let go of. Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, and it could be this person being a manipulator because you definitely had somebody that was very controlling here. Somebody was very manipulative. So again, somebody that was hiding a lot. All right, in the shadow, in the shadows here, ten of pentacles could be a family member, could be a Capricorn, could be an air sign, could be a family member, could be a Cancer. It don't have to be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a childhood friend, but a spirit is calling judgment on this situation too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because spirit saw what this person was doing behind your back. Gemini, Libra, prayers. Look at that. This person wanted to keep you stuck. High priestess, you already knew it. Yep, there was somebody lying and cheating. 
So you definitely just stayed working on yourself because you knew eventually it would have exposed the truth here. You would find out the truth. The sun would reveal whatever the sun needed to reveal. Something coming out in the open here. So that's somebody definitely being secretive, working against you, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or you could be working even at night. All right, again, but I feel like you're going to get some type of epiphany or some type of awareness here is coming in. A spiritual awakening is coming in. Yep, there it is. A spiritual awakening, a spiritual acknowledgement, something unexpected coming towards you. Thank you, Shauna. All right, crystal light. Hey, y'all, put your butt in there. Ain't they getting in a tub? It ain't nothing wrong with them getting in a tub right now. No. Why not? No. Why are you telling me no? Ain't no wrong with you getting in a tub right now. Hell, I had mine in a tub right now. They ass was in the bed at seven. Y'all wasn't even in the bed at no 89 when I raised mine. They ass was in that bed at seven. No. Y'all let these kids stay up too late. That's what y'all be doing. They bed time They bed time need to be damn seven. Seven. Yeah, it's 12 hours. Like, they wake up at 5? You're tripping. <laughs> she said I'm tripping so they can wake up at 5. <laughs> Crystal, you got the sun card. Some positive messages coming in. Some downloads from the divine. Wow! Jupiter, Sagittarius, and Leo. You got some abundance coming towards you. You got a major shift coming towards you. You got some big changes coming towards you. You're going to be having some happy news. You're definitely going to be feeling some uplifting things about to turn around for the better for you. Pisces, Cancer, emotionally, if you've been kind of down or just focusing on yourself, things about you about to get some uplifting news here. So things could be coming towards you. You've been keeping in. Tars, Capcom, Virgo. So again, you're going to focus on your stability, on your money. On your emotions, staying grounded, you got an ace of cup coming. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you got there's an announcement or there's a baby. Somebody could be covering up a pregnancy. Somebody could be pregnant. You could be pregnant with something or somebody around you could be pregnant. So there's definitely an ace of cup coming towards you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's an announcement. I'm seeing the three of cups and I'm seeing the Empress energy. So again, yep. What? Spirit said what Spirit said. Spirit don't lie, motherfuckers lie on spirit. Now, Back to the truth, Ruth. So again, there is the truth. Some justice. Libra, sun, Sagittarius, sun. There's some announcement. I'm seeing three of cups. I'm seeing the empress. Definitely some balance coming towards you. Some karma, good karma coming towards you. Some positive news. It could be even from the IRS. It could be a letter. It could be definitely justice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Justice when it comes to love and when it comes to finance. So something that is, a, like I said, a major shift. It's coming. Some good, happy news is coming. Nine of Pentacles. That's that pre-empress energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So somebody has seen you and somebody has noticed you and somebody is going to reach out to you. You're getting an ace of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, there it is. Uh, judgment. There it is. Queen of Wands. Somebody find you hot, sexy, and attractive. What? Yep, somebody been thinking about you. Yep, there it is. Not talking, not communicating. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep. You definitely could have somebody comparing themselves to you. You definitely an act, action taker. Again, you're not even because you're not saying very much here. To a sword, this could be somebody you're not in no contact with. They think about you at night. They want to reach out towards you. They want to come towards you, but they're a little afraid. They're holding it in. Cancer, Aries, Zero, Sagittarius. It very well could be a feminine, a man in a, in a feminine energy, or it's a woman. All right, again, or somebody that you consider a best friend or a bestie, or somebody you consider a close ass family. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there is definitely somebody that you haven't been in contact could be on their way back. All right. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cup. It is somebody you were very close to. It feels like it's a connection or soulmate. So again, moving forward, Gemini, Leave Aquarius, the Six of Swords. Yep. Knight of Cups with the Seven of Cups with some offers, proposals, commitment. There it is right there. Gemini, Leave Aquarius. Yep. There it is. Out in the cold. There's a lover. There's a connection here. So this is somebody you could have just moved away from. All right, yep, three of cups right there. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it is somebody that's reconciling. Somebody that wants to come back towards you. All right, from your past. All right. They want to be in the forefront. Yep, they want to be in the forefront. They want a higher level of commitment. Yep, there you go. The Queen of Wands, Empress. I'm still seeing Empress. Again, Taurus, Hierophant. So this is somebody that definitely wants to be active. Somebody want to move toward a higher level of commitment, some stability. Yep, victory and success is yours. 
So spirit is proud. Spirit is, is very proud of you moving forward diligently, slow, but you definitely got a victory and success coming with something that you're doing here, right? There is something coming. You release something, ten of wands, a lot of burdens, a lot of karmic energy. You release whatever was holding you back and keeping you from getting that victory and success and keeping you from moving forward, yep, and accepting that new offer. So congratulations on that one. That, congratulations on that. All right, Tammy. Hey, y'all, hush. Tammy, 140.05. Victory, yeah, got you years because I had it. Yep, there you go. You, oh, you said victory had, read my comment. It said, wait a minute. Ah, you need that shift, right? You need that shift, right? And it said victory, Kim, got me in tears because I had it. Yep, that's right. I have to have it. You do got it. Nine of Pinnacle, Charles Captain Virgo. Harvest, paying off, success, victory. Your hard work and efforts on yourself pay off all the time when y'all put that work in yourself. When y'all put that work in yourself and not on the outside of y'all, see? Eight of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles. Making a choice, making a change, making, making, making the effort, you know, and putting that work and ending any negativity around you, cutting off any negativity around you and having the courage to to uh, navigate and cut off any negativity around you. That takes a, a certain kind of strength, y'all. Y'all don't realize that take a certain kind of discipline and a certain kind of strength that, because a lot of people want to guilt trip you. It's 534 angel number. A lot of people want to guilt trip you. A lot of people want you to feel bad. A lot of people want you to think that they got, you got to do what they say and, you know, and have them around. And No, you don't. And it ain't that you got negativity even from them. It's because you're going on your spiritual path and your spiritual path calls you to separate sometimes from people, period. From people. It ain't meant for them to understand. The Lord's work and God's work on you is just exactly what that is. Your work by yourself, solo fucking dolo, right? Nine of Pentacles. So God or Lord or Allah or the Most High can work on y'all the way they need to work on y'all without the outside world. So you can rely on the inside and not on the outside, which is that's why when they brought us into this world, they had us relying on something outside of us instead of us relying on something that's truly, truly, truly inside of us. That's why at KU, I say go in source, not outsource. Go connect back to source. Go connect back to your emotions. Go connect back to your feelings. Go connect back to yourself. Because for so, for so long, we've been living outside ourselves. We've been disconnected from ourselves. And not really knowing we've been disconnected from ourselves in certain instances, in certain situations, in certain dynamics, right? The shift has to occur, God damn it. Separation is fucking mandatory. It is. It truly is. If you believe that, you then you know you're doing some work on yourself because you can't do work on yourself and be in alignment with the creator with all these people pulling on y'all, tugging on y'all, go over here, let's go out, let's do this. And then you're not on your journey. You're on their journey. They interrupted your journey. They bogarted your journey because they got y'all off your damn journey. So I'm pointing you back to you so you can get back on your journey. Get back on your purpose. Purpose is, and journey is within. You got to discover the passion though so you can see what your journey and your mission is about. And that's for each and one of y'all. You don't ever want somebody to take you away from your mission and your purpose. It's no, no, hell no. Hell no, hell, hell the fuck no. All right? Because spirit called you out for a reason. Because spirit know that spirit has to get y'all by yourself in order so y'all can learn yourself because that's a self-taught thing. Just what I told you on that board. Your school is a lesson. Your own body is your lesson. And you are a student of your own body. You are a student of your own body. You are a teacher of your own self. And now you must master yourself. By the teaching you learn, by the instructions you've observed, you've observed, and by things you failed at, and you had to get back up, and you had to fucking try again, and you had to get knocked down, and you had to fucking try again, and you had to get knocked down, and you had to fucking try again. That's what that is, and y'all deserve that. 
Y'all deserve that. We all deserve that. Right? If we're going to reap the rewards. You just saw 7-7 seven, seven today. Oh, look at you. That's a lucky number, girl. That's what I'm talking about. So you got an ace of cup coming. So, yeah. Who am I on? I forgot. Am I on Tammy? I think I was on Tammy. Did I get off? I didn't do Tammy, did I? Did I start Tammy? Did I start Tammy? I don't know if I started Tammy or not. I got off a little bit. Did I get did I get Tammy? Tammy, you there? Number six. Anybody else besides Tweety Bird? Speak now forever. Hold your peace as I'm getting off of him. Tweety Bird number seven is the last one. You I timestamped her, but I don't think I started her. Okay, let me give her another timestamp. One forty-five, forty-three. One forty-five, forty-three for Tammy. Tammy, let's go. All right, thank you, Crystal. Tammy, what we got for you, Spirit? Spirit, what we got for Tammy? Oh, moving forward, releasing something physical in nature. King of Pentacles could be a person, could be a job. Damn. Spirit said it's a person. Spirit said it's a job. As you making a decision about a job or a person. You're releasing, all right? You got some clarity, some truth, some transparency. You're taking action. You're being assertive here. Ace of Sword in your favor. Gemini is Aquarius. You're standing up. There it is. Jupiter Sagittarius. And again, yep, you already know it. You're making a decision to roll on over, to roll on out here, to cut somebody off. King of Swords. Gemini of Aquarius could be a Virgo. Somebody that was lying to you. Somebody in your family could have been trying to stop you or block you, stab you in the back. Gemini of Aquarius, you got some clarity. You got your intuition. You took action. You followed it. You trusted it. And Sagittarius here, you've been juggling to our Capricorn Virgo. So if somebody couldn't make up their mind, what you do? Cut them off. Gemini of Aquarius, somebody tried to keep you guessing, try to keep you confused here. Again, something was in separation. You need to make some type of decision, all right? Again, whether to release something, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because it was emotionally draining here. So again, there's a soulmate coming in. There's some confession coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, judgment. Yep, you didn't want to hear it. You could be in little to no contact with this person. You could have blocked this person or family member. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come towards you and discuss some type of commitment or some type of work, some type of property, all right? Jim, not even Chris. So somebody could be calling you, reaching out of the blue. Again, offering you some type of Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It could be that King of Pentacles we saw. It could be a job. So you're in a new cycle. You definitely have healed yourself. You got some abundance coming towards you. You also got a king, a, a knight, a, a knight of sword coming towards you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep, you're gonna have some type of offer, proposal, or commitment, or a reconciliation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, this is somebody that you definitely can stand your ground against. Five of Wands. I saw that Devil energy. Yep, you got somebody that was causing some type of disturbance. Five of Wands. Yep, some type of conflict at work. It was challenging at work. All right, Five of Wands, Capricorn. You could have a karmic boss. Could be an Aries or a Capricorn. Yep. Leap of faith here. Yep, again, you taking a leap of faith here toward the Ace of Cup. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you wanted to do something that you love. Maybe free yourself. Yep, a higher level of love commitment. So I feel like the, the Spirit is guiding you, all right, towards some type of reconciliation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, again, yep, there it is. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So it is a collaboration. It even can be another job. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Spirit could be moving their hand over your life. All right, again, things are going to be coming together financially for you. All right, in the commitment department, in the value department, even in a relationship department. So again, King of Pentacles, there it is showing up. This person could have been lying. This person could have been living a double life. There you are, the Empress Venus, baby. You're divinely guided and protected, and you don't trust this no further than you can see it. So again, Gemini Libra Aquarius, so you got the Eight of Swords, the Libra, the Empress, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. So this is somebody that's been ghosting and gaslighting in and out, that's been unfair, all right? Again, yep, you've been had to stay firm on your convictions here. Again, Nine of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius, block out the negativity, move forward, focus on your bag, charge Captain on Virgo, let a go of anything holding you back, overthinking. All right, not thinking thinking too much into the situation. Release it. All right, it ain't worth it. 
It ain't worth it. All right. Thank you, Tammy. Tweety Bird. Anybody else? Ace of Cup under the bottom. Buttercup. Let's go. There's a business decision you got to make. Ooh, the world card. Okay. Travel could be involved. 159, 149.51. 149.51 on Tweety Bird. So there could be something traveling, slow moving. All right, again, yep, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Jupiter, Sagittarius. So this is a destined offer. This is what you worked for. This is already yours. This is ain't nothing you got to do for this. You might well just sit back and damn receive it because it ain't shit you can do. All right, again, you're going to be moving forward. It is about to come towards you or spirit is guiding you right to this destiny of fate. All right, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be Pisces, like I said, in Jupiter or Jupiter and Pisces in the 12th house, Sagittarius in 12th house. Right again, so there's something that's destined for you to have, and you're gonna receive it. You're gonna have multitude of offers to choose from, opportunities to choose from, engagements to choose from. So they're gonna be coming towards you, and like I said, it's destined for you. So there ain't nothing nobody can do. Five of five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're not gonna lose out. I feel like you're gonna be releasing and letting go of any pity party. Again, you got an Ace of Cup, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You definitely have courage and confidence to move forward. And again, you got a secret admirer here too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you ready to move forward or you moving away? Gemini, little prayers from any guilt or sadness about love, about an offer, about a baby, possibly. Yep, again, about the separation, victory, and success coming in here. So you got something about bringing something together. So something could be coming together, but you're not recognizing it. So again, high priestess, follow your intuition, trust it. Again, there it is, the empress, I knew it. So the empress and the high priestess. So this person definitely wants victory with you and success. They see you as a high priestess and an empress. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they want to reconcile with you. And again, there it is, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, mother figure. So there could have been somebody, a female or another baby mama or somebody blocking this situation. All right, coming in, to, coming up. Uh, coming uh, against you and this person or in this offer proposal commitment could be a baby mama could be somebody from your past fat the, the past a baby could be somebody from your past a baby mama or a mother figure pisces cancer scorpio standing firm on right so again empress and emperor is out three of cups is right there pisces cancer scorpio you're going to be coming together you're focusing on your feelings on your emotions some reconciliation making some type of uh, uh, decision here, some emperor decision, take your power back here. Queen of Wands, could be in the karmic here. Could be a boss, don't have to be, but it can be. So again, moving forward here, things are gonna be smoothing out here over the next six days. All right, whatever was difficulty, gonna be dissipating. You're gonna be moving to calmer waters here. And yeah, you're gonna be able to be able to relax, maybe uh, enjoy yourself a little bit. Maybe take the effort and take control and stop, y'all. You hurt yourself. Uh, and enjoy yourself. All right, relax a little bit. All right, go out. You know, go out. Maybe you're going to get invited to some place here. And Jim and I even prayers, King and Queen of Swore, you're not even talking. So this is somebody you're not even talking to. You could be in no contact with this person. All right, yep, karmic, because they were karmic. And again, you could definitely be, hey! You can definitely be going out, partying, or relaxing. And again, so again, watch the temptation, watch the addiction. You could be releasing the addiction and celebrating you're releasing the addiction or any type of karmic people, place, or thing, right? Or situation. And it could be five of pinnacle, being in a five of pinnacle mindset. You're not you're not worried about it. You got joy now. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've been working on your happiness right now. So again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. There's a Star card, Wish Fulfillment. Could be a rising Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Don't have to be or Ju a rising Jupiter, Sagittarius, but don't have to be. Woo! Sweetie Bird, that was good. Y'all gonna stop running through here. That's what y'all gonna have to stop doing. Cause somebody run into something. Don't say I didn't tell you. Cause I'm gonna say I told you so. Cause you're not listening. All right. All right. Is that it for tonight? Anybody else? Thank you, Tweety Bird. Is there anybody else? They wearing me out just running around. 
zapping my damn energy. Five of Wands. Yep, seven of swords. Ooh, tower moment. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught. Living a double life. Somebody got busted. Living a double life. Ooh, ooh. I guess that's it for tonight, huh? I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. Because uh, y'all, I'll find you. I'll, get, I'll be on tomorrow. We was on today. It was a great lesson. All right. Journey. Yep. Again, change. Somebody could be having to change the address. Somebody could be moving, relocating. All right. Oh, collective two, Spirit. What's coming toward the collective two? Higher level love commitment. You guys are moving in alignment with your soul's calling. With spirit here, spirit is guiding some of you guys. It's time to move, to relocate. Some of you guys could be looking to move and relocate. Some of you guys could be changing your profession or changing your residence. Yep, four of cups. You guys have been contemplating on a while. You may have four options that you're thinking about. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you need to make some type of decision, but things are not clear yet. Things are still up in the air. So you're waiting for some clarity. You're waiting for some sign here before you actually start moving or relocating or moving in that direction. So shut up. Get out of here. And again, before y'all make that decision, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and boom, somebody fighting for something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? And again, yep, third party. So before y'all make a move with a third party, I feel like y'all need some clarity before y'all move forward. All right, seven pentacles. Y'all could have been invested in this a long time. It was a it was a long fight here for some of you guys. Some of you guys hate defeat, so you guys are holding on because you hate defeat. So some of you guys are holding. Yep, there it is. Secret pain. It's causing y'all pain. So some of y'all need to let this go because y'all still holding on, and it's causing y'all pain because y'all hate defeat. So again, yep, there it is. Four of wands there. Yep, five of cups. So again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, it's making y'all sad. All right, what we got in here? Ace of Pentacles. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm You ain't got to yell up, get run up the hall yelling. Again, Eight of Wands. Aries, Yo, Sagittarius. The Ace of Pentacles is out in the heart of the matter. Yep, somebody watching. Somebody thinking about making some type of decision, some type of investment here. Somebody could be deciding to move in silent here. All right. There's the Empress or the Emperor. So again, somebody could be releasing something like I said that won't come out Queen of Pentacles. Could be a job. Somebody could be watching over y'all's shoulder, watching over y'all back, talking behind y'all back at work. This could be a karmic here. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You guys are moving. Somebody could be coming towards y'all to smooth things out after they lie. All right. They're gonna be withholding something. Three of Wands. Again, watch your temper because there could be some type of disagreement or some type of argument. King of Pentacles, over business, over work. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you guys got some betrayal here. Woo! I ain't going to do it this time. I'm be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. Spirit say, yep, it's time for y'all to make a decision and move forward. Y'all got the action. Y'all got the answers y'all need. Y'all got the signs y'all need. It's time for y'all to pick up y'all business and y'all move past this betrayal. Leave that shit behind y'all. Don't look back. And move forward because y'all got clarity that y'all need. You got the Knight of Wands here. Yep, you got a tower moment, breakup, separation. There's some abundance coming. There's signs of it. Yep, you guys, you are not out of the woods yet, you think. All right, but you got that three of pentacles cards got some Virgo. So again, there's some positive news coming towards y'all. You guys manifested this Knight of Pentacle. Cards got some Virgo. Somebody gonna be giving to y'all. There's balance coming in. There's harmony coming in. Victory and success. Ooh, this is beautiful. You guys can still need to release some thinking over a uh, third party. I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna get off of here. All right, what we got here? Thinking man, thinking woman. Mature woman. Thief coming out again. Wedding and a letter. Invitation, like I said. 
Yep, yeah, family room. So this could be a family stand with two of men, I mean family man. Yeah, there we go. Somebody sick, toil and labor. Yep, wedding, could be a wedding. Yep. Dang, an occupation on, a, a letter on. <sighs> what did I say? Why are y'all even running in here? Again, the wedding and the envelope and the occupation. So some type of receiving, some type of letter, some type of invitation to a wedding, or again, so there's something y'all could have some hand in or occupation, some work, getting some type of message, and again, or download or upload in a wedding. All right, change coming in. Concern, mature woman, judification. Poverty, coughing, despair, damn, and privileged lady. I feel like y'all are separating yourself from the past. You guys are walking away, leaving the past in the past. So feel it, y'all are putting an end to poverty mindset, to despair, five of cups, five of pentacles, Scorpio energy. You guys are leaving it, and bam, there y'all go coming in as the empress uh, energy right here, single. It even could be a divorce for some of y'all. Yep, change. Yep, bars, imprisonment. Change and imprisonment. Community. Y'all could be divorcing a community. Hmm. Ten one and then one ten and master number thirty-three is out here. Three nine nine three. Uh, 316, 24, 21, 31, 310, 9, 10, 17, 10, 7, Six ten nine six six nine six sixteen one six six one six twenty one six three. Hmm. Ooh, the sleep monster coming! I'm about to crash. We can tell the time is going back. Yep, there, there comes my sleep. All right. Oh, my gosh. It must be dark outside. It's damn near dark. Because I feel it. Yeah. It's the rain, too. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely got something going on. I'm not going to clarify these, though. Take what resonates. I love it. That's y'all sign. Move forward. Y'all may not know where y'all going, but where y'all get there, you're going to know with that ace of sword on the bottom. Spirit is saying y'all moving in the right direction. Take it out. Resonate. Love, money, spirit, or a soulmate or a job. Yep, there it is. Aromatherapy and eat some sweets. So treat yourself to some aromatherapy and treat yourself to some sweets. And again, family. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? So we got spend time with your fur buddies, your friends, take a walk in nature, and then connect with y'all womb. We had that last night. Connect with y'all womb. You connect with Mother Nature. Connect with your earth and your water, your feelings, your emotions, right? But y'all, uh oh. <laughs> Who out there trying to get some fried eggs? <laughs> Who out there trying to get some fried eggs? I'm just saying. Somebody out there lying. Because somebody out there trying to get some fried eggs. I'm just looking here. It done came out again. See what I'm saying? All right. Yep. Do some energy work. 
do some energy work instead, all right? Do some energy work instead. Drink some tea instead, shit. You know, the, uh, connect with your wound and sex is what it says. And again, bubble bath. Somebody definitely, ooh, somebody connect with your wound, fried eggs, and bubble bath. Yeah, I'm just saying, look for the fairies. There we go. Drink some tea. Drink some tea. And again, the uh, watch for a movie. So again, take up a movie. Remember, we talked about Jupiter Ascending last night and pop up. So if y'all haven't seen this, make sure y'all go see this. All right. Make sure y'all, oh, boxing exercise. So make sure y'all do some boxing, some exercise, some physical strength. Drink some tea, movement. What else? What is that, wrong with me? No, clear your energy field. That was the, the Palo I did this morning. I mean, went right when I started. Or again, do it after or before. Intuition, tap into your intuition. And again, meditate, contemplate. Do some meditation. Yep, clean y'all space, clean y'all windows, clean your doors, clean your floors. All right, so somebody may need to burn some sage or clear their space by cleaning their floors and cleaning their windows or cleaning any cobwebs down because cobwebs will block y'all abundance too. Dead plants will, bo will block your abundance too. So you guys got to make sure if you got plants and if you got you got cobwebs from away from the doors, away from the windows, out of the corners, because all that stuff catches your abundance. All of it stops your abundance, right? So again, make sure y'all do that. So energy work here. So do some grounding, some crystals, some Reiki, right? Sync with the moon, sync with your wound. And then positive affirmations. Speak life into your wound, your moon, right? Your emotions, your heart. I am abundant. I am love. I am aware that I am love. I am love and light, right? I am safe. I am divinely guided. I am divinely protected. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am healthy, right? So y'all got... Time alone, drink water, create some art, and again, be still, and there you go, make an altar. Some of you guys still haven't made an altar yet. Watch a movie, and I got Jupiter ascending right here. Stop, y'all, get out of here. Why are you back up in here playing when I'm up in here working? I'm done. I'm not going to do the energy cards. Okay, that's it for tonight. I'll let y'all go on that. Pop up tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate y'all. If I missed you, I will definitely get you on the list tomorrow. List closed. Beware of spammers. Uh, you can donate anytime. My information is down in the box, in the description box behind my videos. You can go to my main profile page, get the links. I get the websites, kimarts.org, K-E-M-A-R-T-S.org. All right, PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. No extra nothing. All right, only your little dash right there. So, again, that is my payment information right there, no Zelle. All right, if it hits you, donate. If you feel like you want to give some love, seeds, and blessings, go ahead. All right, it's up to y'all. All right, pop-up is always 11, 11, 22, 22, 33, 33, 44, 44, until I change it. KimArts.org for the book, You're Not It, Sis, and the book, private readings, counseling, and mentoring calls, guidance calls on spirituality, anything you might want to know. All right. If I know it, I'm going to show it. I'm going to tell it. All right. Again. So, then Cash App, capital K, with the, capital K, capital A, with the green boxes, PayPal, Venmo, which is my name. All right. My number, 469-219-9622. If you got any questions, if you got, you know, any you know how to navigate the site. If you don't know, you can text me. How do I book a reading? All right, and I'm, I'm going to guide you there. So again, if you're unsure that it's me or not, be careful because spammers are taking my pictures and making false pages and making false these accounts and shit. So be careful. I do not solicit. I do not inbox. I will not reach out to you. You go to my website and book your private reading there. Or you can text me here, 469-219-9622. All right, my pages are open for you to see. I do plenty of lives throughout the day, seven days, damn near a week. So you always know where I'm at and you always know it's me. 
All right? And like I said, if they ain't looking like this, it ain't me. Okay? If they ain't showing you this, it ain't me. If they got nails on and makeup, it ain't me. If they ain't wearing a pro, it ain't me. Okay? Because this is what Kim Ars look like. All right? Kim Ars don't look like nothing else. But get the profile picture they, they inbox you with. Say, show me that you can FaceTime me. Let me see you. Let me talk to you live and in person. Okay. If they don't sound like this, it ain't. I'm just saying. Be, be cautious because these scammers are on a high alert, y'all. They on a high alert. All right. So be careful so y'all don't get scammed out there. I'm going to send out some readings later on or, or tomorrow morning. So some of y'all are going to be getting y'all readings. I might go to bed tonight because I'm kind of woke out. That powerful reading this this morning got me zapped in these chapters. Got me zapped. I'm zapped. So I need to go and rebalance my chakras. So if I don't get no readings out tonight, I will get them out tomorrow. But I'm going to try to do some tonight. Uh, the, little, uh, the little ones. So anything else y'all need to know, you can ask me. Let me know down below in the comments, in the chats, in the super chats, in the reels. Any questions, any sign requests, y'all can say, do this, do that. Do, can you answer this? I'll do a, an intuitive message or a message without the cards or whatever the hell it is, right? However spirit lead it. So, yep, that was proof right there. See what I'm saying? That was proof right there. So, again, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Peace, love, and harmony. I'm going to let y'all go because I know this is a work week. Uh, again, my, my head tingling. Boy, spirit be all up in my head. All right. Again, uh, you looked for that movie yesterday and you couldn't find it. My daughter said it was on HBO Max. She said it was on HBO Max. All right. HBO Max. Jupiter, Jupiter Ascending. So, Jupiter Rising. Ascension is a rising, right? It's a rising sign. It's a, it's a rising sign. So Jupiter rising. This was the name of that girl. Her name, my mama named her Jupiter. Oh, y'all need to see. Oh, I can't tell y'all. This movie is so dope. This movie is so dope, y'all. I can't tell y'all how dope this movie is. I can't tell you. This movie is so dope. She was named after a constellation. She literally was named her, her dad. I'm going to tell you a little bit. Her dad was an astrologer. Right? Her mom cleaned toilets after her dad got killed. And I think after her dad got killed, her mom went to cleaning toilets. I'm going to tell you a little bit. And so she didn't like that boring life. She knew she was meant for better. But her, they came in, hey! They came inside the house and killed her dad. So that's why she ended up cleaning toilets with her mama and stuff. That was her mama's, that was her mama's job, the way, job the way she provided for her and her. With, I think with the auntie or somebody or a best friend or something other. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. It gets good after that. Y'all got to excuse them grandbabies because they is not listening today. All right. Evidently, I'm in their way. They're not in my way. Okay. So they ain't trying to hear what granny trying to say. All right. Uh, so that's why you need a man around for the little crumb, crumb snatchers. That's exactly why. Because they ask just run over you. They act like they just don't listen. All right. You know, they need to get your world somewhere and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, it is on Amazon Prime or Amazon Movie or something like that. Get this, and get this, get this, get this, get this. Y'all gonna love this movie. It got so many uh, subliminals in there about the twin flame and the soulmate journey. You're gonna know now because we've been teaching so much on it now. You're gonna see it in there automatically. You're gonna, like, matter of fact, it was a song I was gonna break down for y'all today that I didn't even realize it was a soulmate song. And we were listening to it. It was an old school song. We were listening on the way back. And I was going to do it tonight, but I got on the phone. I got on all three of the phones, so I can't do it tonight. So I may do it tomorrow, just so y'all can see. Some of these songs back in the 70s was really talking about the divine feminine, divine masculine. And that's why they're classics to this day, because they talk to the feminine and the masculine energy inside of us. It, that song, I was like, I didn't even pay no attention to that song. I said, oh my God, this dude is talking about the feminine and masculine energy right in the damn song. Like, old school is it. I'm 
telling y'all, go back to old school music. Fuck the rap. Fuck this bullshit they got because it's not music. It's trash. And you're going to wake up feeling like trash. You're going to start acting like trash. And you're going to start dressing like trash. And everything else trashy. I'm telling you, this song going to blow your mind. I'm going to save it for tomorrow. I'm not even going to mention it because I don't forgot anyway. So I'm going to have to go out there and ask my son. All right, what the hell was he playing in the car? And then I'm going to come back tomorrow, maybe, if Spirit say the same. And I'm going to break that damn thing down. Because I'll be talking another five hours and I'm not going to get off of you. So I'm going to get off of you. But anyway, go see this movie. I love this movie. And I'm going to tell y'all... Get some jazz in your life. Get some neo soul in your life. Get some old school in your life. And, and leave that rap shit alone. That, stop! That rap stuff is poison at this point. Poison to your, your, your energy. Poison into you keeping a high vibration. So it's not meant to make you feel good. It's meant to make you think it's make you feeling good. But underneath... In the heart chakra, you're feeling down and you're getting drowned and you're getting you're getting suppressed. And later that week, you're going to be depressed and you're not going to know because it's going to be untouched here in a negative in a negative uh, vibration. Right. I'm just trying to tell you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye, y'all. Open up that heart chakra. Open up that mind. Open up that mind. Open up that heart chakra. Be open, no judgment, universal love. Just learn. All right, just learn so y'all can go and evolve. So y'all can you can you can make that connection. Right? So you can make that connection and tap into y'all greatness and being great and achieving great things and coming out with whatever y'all meant to come out with, whatever y'all meant to innovate, whatever y'all meant to create, so y'all can come out and create. And that's why I'm here to help y'all create, to help y'all tap into that creator inside of you to manifest your dreams and to to have that you don't believe you don't believe I, I, y'all don't believe i'm gonna say this i'm gonna get off again y'all don't believe that some of y'all is the next president some of y'all may be the next inventor of some life-changing uh thing some of y'all do not believe that y'all are it y'all got to tap thank you master uh, Grandmaster, y'all got to tap into y'all greatness because I'm telling you, some of y'all sitting on something that can change this damn planet, like this world, the course that it's in. But you cannot get that evolution and that innovation until y'all tap and make that connection, until you make that heart connection to your creator. You won't get it. You're just going to be barely making it. You're going to be barely surviving, barely making it. Now, unless y'all afraid to be known... Unless y'all afraid to be known, that's something else. That's a different story. Unless you're afraid to be looked at as that way, then that's a different story too. So if you don't want to be known for something, that's fine. That's your choice. But what if your destiny calls for you to be known? Then what? Then what's your choice? Then what will y'all do? Will you answer the call to your destiny? Or will you hang up the phone? Will you refuse to go towards your destiny? Will you refuse to show up and be accounted for as a chosen one? Okay? Whatever that destiny is, don't worry about people. People going to be people. People going to do people shit. All right? Because they people. They human. But what is your destiny calling for? If your destiny calling for you to help people, lead people, be a service to people, serve humanity, be philanthropic, pick or whatever the word is, you know, philanthropic then do that you never know y'all can might come in something that can save the ozone you never know invent some type of material that won't be as harsh as plastic y'all don't know what y'all sitting on until y'all tap into that heart chakra and we talked about that this morning in that message so y'all tap in please tap in it's for y'all it's for y'all family it's for y'all legacy it's so y'all can take it back to y'all home planet and say, I made a difference in Earth. I made it better so when you come back, when your, when your star systems come back, your, 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 your genetics or your family line come back, they got a better place to be in. I don't know if y'all know, I don't know if some of y'all know this or not, but I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this. Y'all don't know that you tapping into your 
Ten of Pentacles, your emperor, your empress, your high priest, da da da, your millions. You make it better for many ten generations forward, ten generations back. So when your ancestors come back around and come back in this earth, they are living off of what you left them, what you have stored up for them, so they can have a better life than what they have. How many mamas and daddies struggled? How many grandmas and grandpas struggled in y'all family? And if them two, if them two generations struggled, four or five struggle, five or four or five generations struggle, then when you are the chosen one, you're setting up the empire. So when they come back, there's no struggle with what they coming back with because they coming back into something that's left for them. So y'all have to really take y'all journey serious because you're setting up generational wealth. I'm setting up generational wealth for my mom, my daddy, my grandma, my whoever going to be in that line, right? So you got to take this shit serious, y'all. You got to stop playing because you only got this chance right here to make it happen for your family line. This is your chance right here. This is your moment right here to achieve that greatness, y'all. Y'all got to stop playing. You got to stop letting social media and, 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 and the social engineering and all the TV shows just, you know, distract y'all. You are setting up. And you wonder why we always say, well, they walked into it. They, they was born into it. They, it was, they was born with a silver spoon in the mouth. That's a lot where they get it from. You achieving something here now. And when your person or your, like your children grow up, they got something. Then when I come through, they maintain and we taught them right. I'm going to be able to come and have a better life than what I experienced in this lifetime if I choose to come back. Because when, when you reach a certain level, you can choose to come back here or not choose to come back here. See, y'all missing the whole thing. You got a choice whether you want to come back through this hell hole or not come back through this hell hole. But whether I come back through this hell hole or not, I've left my generation something that definitely puts that silver spoon in their mouth, right? But we got to teach them sense on how to protect it, how to maintain it, how to not, you know, fumble through it. No, I ain't putting nothing on. Get on, get on, get on. I'm not, it's, no, you finna, you finna go to bed, boy. Get your little butt over there somewhere. Go ask your mama. Why are you bothering me? Go get your, get, get your mama. She right there. So if she gonna tell you no, why you gonna come ask me? She'll say no. She'll say no because you finna go to bed and get in that tub. Get here, little boy. A jacket. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why he loved. Why he loved to put coats on in the house. He got. Look at this. Look at this. Look. 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 See the long sleeve. Why? Why he loved to put coats and stuff on when he got clothes already on. And we'll sleep like this too. Get on somewhere, little boy. Get on. Get on. Good lord. Huh? Now he don't want it on. Oh my God. Now he don't want it on anyway. It's hot, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. He's like, yeah. Whew. Close my door. <laughs> oh my God. You see that? I forgot. Was I finished? Oh my God. Granny, you go get it. You better not. <laughs> Girl, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he want to put on a long sleeve with some pajamas on. A, a, a long sleeve shirt, want to put on a whole Adidas jacket on top of it in the house. <laughs> Had me hot flashing, looking at his butt running around here with two long sleeves on. <laughs> oh, these grandkids, a whole new breed. Girl, they is a whole new breed by themselves, for real. All right. That, like good lord and then I'm talking about ask your mama no she ain't going to cause she know it's hot <laughs> she know you gotta get in the tub and go to bed of course she ain't gonna put it on look now he done took it outside again look at this boy here this little boy went, came in here got it and went back outside with it I can't do it I can't do it they, they funny I can't do it they is funny <laughs> they is a whole new breed <laughs> So again, but y'all, so think about that. Do tap into y'all work yourself. Do yourself work. My grandkids on shorts. 
with turtleneck sweaters and a wet oh, and some boats. That's imagination for you. They imagination work. All I can say is, Netta, look, leave that imagination intact. Don't do nothing to ruin their imagination as a child. Because I'm telling you, that imagination is the, they are going to be an innovator. They're going to be a creator. They're going to be able to tap into their higher self. And I'm telling you, it's going to, man, people don't know what they did when they stopped their children from imagining things and, and being creative like that. Like my daughter running around with this Walmart bag on like it was a costume yesterday. And I couldn't do nothing but laugh. I said, I text my daughter. I said, come look at Casey. <laughs> she came here like, what? She looked, she, she had to immediately take a picture. She took a picture. She was like, what? I said, girl, I was about to tell her, take it off. But I was like, you got to see this before I tell them to take this bag off. So that's their imagination, inventing, creative, using the materials that they got and, and making something out of it, right? Just creating something from the imagination. They higher self is teaching them. So that's why you don't want to stop it and block that disconnection when your children are in that creative energy like that. It may look stupid to us. It may be like, Far-fetched to us, but it's not. It's their higher self guiding them to do stuff, to try stuff, to use the elements around them to do stuff and see what it does. And we interject and stop that learning process by disconnecting them with that creator and shaming them. You know, that's why I went ahead and put it on. I'll be fussing because I'll be trying to get them to see you finna burn up. But then I was like, come here, boy. Here, come here. Look at this. Look at this long sleeve. You can put it. He took it off. Then he took it. Threw it in there, went outside, came back here and got it and went back outside. See, go on with that jacket, boy. I ain't gonna even worry about you. When you get hot, you'll pull it off. <laughs> you gonna make me hot, though, in the process. You gonna make me have a hot flash. So again, so he's already got friends he talks to, right? I let him be him. All I do is smile, yep. Couldn't pull it off fast enough, <laughs> right? I just had a hot flash. <laughs> Sharon said, I just had one. Especially in the Texas weather. So thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Peace, love, and harmony. Take what you can. Leave the rest. If it's not yours, that means it don't fit. It's not yours. If you can't make it fit nowhere, don't force it. And if you don't see where it fit, it ain't for you. That's what it means. Take what resonates. If it ain't resonate, leave it where it's at. All right? The eye of raw. Back there behind me. So leave it right there. The next person to know what to do with it. But y'all leave comments down there after the fact here. I'll read through them uh, again. And I'll see whatever y'all want to request on or whatever y'all want to know more about. Again, you can leave a question down there. You can email me a question or you can just text me a question. All right, 469-219-9622. And I'll answer it where I can answer it where everybody can hear it. I won't, of course, say y'all name because I have time. Y'all just say hi and don't tell me your name anyway. I got to ask y'all for your name and you call in my phone. I don't know why y'all do that, but hey, text me and let me know who you are if you're going to say something to me. I shouldn't be asking you who your name is when you want texting me. All right. Hi, this is Karen. I just want to say hi and I love you. Okay. I know that's Karen. But if you just say, I just love you, I'm going to be like, who is this? Who this? What's your name? <laughs> when you could have told me your name. All right, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm busy, but I'm I would like to get to some of y'all, but I can't. Cause that means I gotta go with the, I gotta ask a lot of questions <laughs> to get to y'all. <laughs> so I read and I move on. All right. Thank y'all for all the com communication and positivity. All right, and all the love and support. And may the creator bless y'all back in return a hundredfold. All right, thank y'all. We're going to have a night. We got, we're getting off of here because it's about to be dark and sister girl eyeballs want to close. All right, they want to get some rest. But I'm going to do some readings though. I think I'm going to do about two. <laughs> I might do two. That might be all I can squeeze out right now. And the rest of them I'll get tomorrow. 
See y'all later. Love y'all. Peace. Bye. And it's 622 angel number. Somebody look that up and put that down in the back. Down there in the, in the bottom for somebody. Angel number 622. All right. I bet you it's something good. I just bet it is. All right. Bye, y'all. Peace and love. Bye, y'all. Peace and love. Bye, y'all. Peace and love. Oh, they got bath time now. Look at them. They going to get in that bathtub now. Oh, Lord. The mama done came in. The mama hen done came in. The mama bird done came in, y'all. The mama bird done came in. They didn't get that bath now, y'all. They didn't get that bath. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Thanks, Mama.